pumped. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. That's all I wanted to say. Hi, how are you? I hope you're doing good. Today is a good day. We're going to find Marshall. Best believe it. We will find Marshall. Why does it say two? I don't know. What is it's a man of oh man. If it was Monday, we could have said Marshall Manifest Monday. But it's Tuesday. Wait. Yeah, today is Tuesday. I had to think what it was. I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. It's today Monday. No, today is Tuesday. Um, but Daff, welcome in. Daff, Daff. Dab, welcome in. I'm ready. Let's go. I am so excited today. Today has been a really crazy, crazy day. If you can't tell, I've been super pumped ever since this morning, or I guess this afternoon, I would say. But, hee hee hee. Brianna, welcome in. Welcome in. How are you? If you don't find Marshall, I have Flip. Yeah, I can just take him off your hands. He's already in boxes. So. <laughs> I am Retay. Misfit. Welcome in. And big fact, Weenie, welcome in. How are you doing? Cimarella, hello. Okay. I was watching, um, what was it called? Sing 2 today, and it was really good. I love that movie. Um, but welcome in, besties. Today is the day where we are going to find Marshall in Animal Crossing. We're going to go hunting island to island. And so get your bingo cards ready. Keep the same bingo card that you made last time. So don't make a new one. Keep the same one. Warlord, hello, hello. How you doing today? Today is a good Tuesday. The Sims had a live stream today, by the way. We're going to talk more about it tomorrow. I mean, we can talk about it now, but we're going to talk about it again tomorrow. Regardless, the Sims had a live stream today. And I was so excited. Honestly, pronouns are happening. They're happening. I know. I'm so excited too. I've been, I've been, not, I've been like screaming all day in my friend group. And um, tweeting a lot. So I was like, oh, this is so good. But Autumn, hello. And Simaholic, welcome in. Welcome in. How is everyone's Tuesday going today? Because my Tuesday is great. We got a progress update on pronouns that are happening. We're getting a new scenario that I already forgot what it was called. We're getting new content in the game. I forget when. And then something else. My main focus today was just pronouns. <laughs> like, that's all I cared about. I didn't care about anything else. Um, I was like, pronouns. Let's go. Hey, hey, today's stream was awesome. It really, really was. You know, what was so funny, I tend to ignore the chat in, um, in the sim streams because they're always so, like, shifted. But today was actually a, was a good one. Chat was actually calm for once. Like, calm in a good way. You know what I mean? It wasn't hectic, like negative as much as I've seen. But hey, 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 if you want the Discord, you can do exclamation mark Discord. There you go. Um, but also Cassandra, hello. And your switch came in. Nice. Ooh. Ooh, how do you feel? How do you feel? I love that you can customize pronouns. Same. I am curious on what else they're going to do with it because the thing is with... Pronouns. I think we have three, like three main options, and we can customize it. But I also like, what else are they gonna do? You know, I'm so curious. Uh, I have watching Kanto. I've seen it three times. The Bruno song is stuck in my head. It's it will forever be stuck in my head. It's so catchy. Bruno, Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno here. Bruno, no, no. <laughs> Um, and uh, Chibi, welcome in, welcome in, and Baby Duck and RPG, welcome, welcome. I am here. We are hunting for Marshall. We're gonna vibe and chill and scream, maybe. 
We'll see how that works. But today is an Animal Crossing day and I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Oh, uh, they changed the chat to Ema on one point. Yeah, they did that during um, when they were doing like the pre-recorded thing. And, you know, when I felt like, I felt like, you know, when they, after the, you know, after the whole pre-recorded video that they showed on stream, I was like, let me just shift the chat to a different uh, topic. I didn't think, I didn't think it would happen, but it did. I asked everyone in chat in the sim stream, like, what are your pronouns? And then everyone flooded their pronouns and I felt happy because I'm like, chat needs to go somewhere else with negativity. Make it about pronouns. We don't need to know about Sims 5 or, you know, no more kids and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to know about that. I want to know about people's pronouns. That's all I want. That's all I wanted to see. Um, but Madeline, hello. Oop. I think I pressed something. Um, but welcome in. Welcome in. How you be? Uh, who's on my island? Um, yeah. All the rules that you need to know about the Discord or about the bingo and who's on my island is if you click that link right there. But as of right now, who's on my island is uh, Boone, Cambira, Eric, Dina, Pom Pom, Hamfrey, and Lucha are the ones that are on my island at this current time, which is great. Julia just left, so we're on the hunt for Marshall now. Well, now we have Joey, but Joey's new. I forgot to read the rules of the bingo. It's all good, all good. Don't worry. But yeah, so if you made a bingo card last time, keep the same one. That way you don't have to like go back into the Discord and look at all the ones that we already searched for. Um, Jenny, hello, hello. The hunts, hello. <laughs> oh, we don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. Bruno in these streets? I don't think so. I don't think so. Also, I just want to just tell you all something right here, right now. Um, my friend Shella is mean because she found Marshall one time and she DM'd me about it and I cried. Um, anyway, <laughs> Caitlin, thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it so, so much. Can we get some hype and some love in the chat, please? And thank you. Yes. Post it in the discord. Yes, yes. Because if I don't find Marshall today, we'll go hunting again. And you can keep the same card. But welcome, welcome in, Caitlin. Thank you for the prime. Um, also, what did I say? Also, hello, Behunts. How you been? And Hobie, hello, hello. Uh, since I started playing Animal Crossing, I don't know how much of the villagers. Can you please show a photo of Marshall? I can. He's that, that lovely white, oops, that lovely off-white right here. The squirrel, the presence of Marshall has been made. Marshall's an off-white um, squirrel is how I would describe him. But he's super cute. He's a smug villager. He, he kind of fits the vibe. No, I don't want to talk to you, Boone. Go away. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Boone. I don't want to talk to you. Goodbye. Actually, I need to see who is all on my island. Make sure I have all the plots taken care of today. There is a, there is no. If I don't, if if I don't find him today, you will. I will find him. I will find Marshall. Guarantee it. Okay, it's still good. Still good. I also went back in time to the thirteenth. Because that was the last day we actually uh, hunted. That way we're not able to have this lot be auto-filled by a random. You've been excited for your stream. Hope you're well. I am doing super well. I've been screaming, crying, and throwing up figuratively about pronouns today. And then, yeah, that's it. I was just really excited about pronouns for the Sims live streams. So I've been talking to all my friends about it especially Momo and tweeting about it. And I just been sitting here thinking of like, what kind of sim can I make now with all the pronouns? But then also like thinking, hmm, what will I do? But then I was also watching Sing 2 today. 
not me opening up my sim say for the first time in a while <laughs> my, while my sim is at a bar two elders died that's fun it's not exciting when sims just die randomly when you just don't expect it it's like who do you think you are dying at my bar kind of rude <laughs> we will find marshall best believe it so i only have four spots are like made like checked off off my board and i'm just like mm, mm, mm. let's go it was a cottage living by wait cottage living lot oh the cottage living bar oh that one's always dying they're always dying. I mean, technically they're both elders and I forget how long they had left at the start of the game. Yeah. They'd be like, I'm dropping dead right now. <laughs> and uh, Geek Mina, welcome in. Welcome in. How are you? And thank you for sending all the vibes. And Kar Kar, welcome in. You finally invested in a blue light glasses. And by invested, I mean a dollar section at Target. I mean, hey, whatever works whatever works but i've been doing really really good today i've been screaming about pronouns and how i can use that for like storytelling and excitement i don't know i'm just so excited about ew <laughs> i'm disgusted now um but i've been really really excited about the pronouns how it's gonna do with storytelling alfonso get out of here you're kind of rude Especially like how our Sims are going to fully enhance, like to like change over time. Because what I'm thinking is that we can change the pronouns in create a Sim. That was my theory. But here's my other theory. Can we choose pronouns in gameplay? That's what I'm curious about. You know how when you start over an island, you get two random villagers. When I started my island, I got my brother's favorite villager that he left his island and he was so jealous. <laughs> Serves him right for leaving his villagers all alone. Serves him right. <laughs> uh, that was Alfonso, by the way, besties, if you didn't see. He's not on my card, kind of rude. I know, I'm so excited. I wanna make a video about it soon, about pronouns and everything, like what my theories are. I just gotta just do some things, gonna organize. Villager existing, kind of rude, honestly. Rude. The first one is a, are you serious? Tell me you're, tell me you are joking. Did we find Alfonso the last time? Oh my, rude. A repeat villager? You need that duck bill? I got it from the Able Sisters, but I forget when I got it though. It's been a while. If I had another one, I would give it to you because I tend to buy a lot of repeat um, outfits. Oh, and this is Island 422, by the way. I didn't change the number. I wasn't paying attention. 422. He's on your card and I've checked him off. Oh, yo. Yeah, pronouns are coming to The Sims, The Sims 4. Um, we just don't know when that'll be, but they did do a live stream earlier today about like what, what they're doing nowadays, like the progress of it. And so far it looks really promising. I mean, it was just like a kind of a sketch of it all. But for what we've seen in the live stream was really, really good. And I was really pleased because... What's different about this is that they were holding it off because of all the languages that they have already implemented in The Sims 4. And being in that live stream, I've, I've learned a lot because, you know, he, him, she, her, they, them, uh, ZZ are, are like in different languages in other countries. And learning about that today was really, really insightful and really good. So, yeah, I'm really happy that they did the research and waited. And collaborate it with people and it's nice that they're making it happen and making it true because rep representation really matters let's be real here melissa hello 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 it's so ha uh, it makes me 
it makes him so happy that we have pronouns now because of the struggle. This is mine for a long time. And I feel like I feel like it's important for people to feel their true and authentic selves in video games, whether it's like hair color, skin color, pronouns, um, gender identity, anything it might be that makes them their true selves. They should be able to feel happy and feel good when playing games. You know what I mean? Also, where is this villager? <laughs> I can't find them. Ew, who are you? Winnie, leave me alone. Me too. Winnie's just kind of rude. Not on my island and not on my card. Actually, are you? You are not. I'm going home. I'm going home. Huh. <sighs> But yeah, either way, I hope you all had a really good day today on a Tuesday. It's been chill. I got my oil changed today. Little to know that I found out that it wasn't my oil because I was seeing like, I was trying to figure out what was wrong with my car. It wasn't the oil light. It was the engine light. And I had to change something. I hate, you know, I hate, I hate having a car. I seriously hate having a car. I don't want to pay for things. <laughs> I hate having a car so much. Why can't we just fly? Why can I not have a superpower and just fly everywhere? Be easier. <laughs> okay. Wilbird. Okay. Let's travel. <laughs> you had Winnie? Oh my gosh. Winnie the Pooh? Winnie the alligator? Well, are you close to a bingo? Is that a thing? Are, is anyone close to a bingo today? Oh, 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 Winnie was a horse. Oh, I was like frog, cow, thing, jigger. Ew, who are you? Caesar? No. Caesar, Caesar, Caesar. No, no, no. <laughs> you don't even have a bingo card? Oh my goodness gracious. Hobie, Hobie, Hobie. Chop, chop. Three away. Well, I feel like if you win, it's rigged, uh, you know? You struggle with, uh, with, your with your sexuality and pronouns in real life. And because I can express and explore them safely, I'm so thankful that I have the Sims to explore my sexuality, pronouns, and gender identity safely. That's good. I'm glad that you have the Sims to do that for you. And I think that was me. It's like, or just I guess it's in a general thing. Sims is like my safe haven. It's... It allows me to be whoever I want to be. And it allows me to be creative in my own natural way and share stories, you know? No more cars. We should buy Bella Swan's truck. Yes. <laughs> Bella Swan's truck will be a reliable source of transportation. I kind of want to be a vampire, though. Nothing yet. Neither. Same. I struggle. And Polka, good morning to you. How are you doing today? We are back hunting for Marshall once more. We've got a lot of things we got to do. We're going to island to island. I have spent over 424 Nook Mile tickets. Help. But why make one when I already have Marshall? Well, wee, wee, wee. <laughs> I'm going to cry live and on main. Just you wait, Hobie. You don't want to see a streamer cry. It's not pretty. Uh, a new welcome in. He finally caught a stream again, but my computer is slow and annoying. Icky. Slow computer, icky. But I'm glad that you're here, though. Oh my gosh, I thought that was Marshall. I would have screamed. Yeah, 424. I had to Flora yesterday and found her on 105. Are you kidding me? Ace, you're a repeat. Go away. <sighs> I cannot believe this. 
Like, I know a bunch of people have found like Marshall on like 15 tickets and like how. But yeah, I've been hunting for a very long time. A long time. And I'm glad you're doing good, Polka. I've been swell. Did you hear about the pronouns today in the Sims live stream? I've been very excited. We're getting closer and closer to new and better things in the Sims, and I'm so pumped. Then again, I do kind of I did kind of cheat and use them people. See now, doesn't the truth feel better when you say that now? The truth will set you free. Uh, what what came do you suggest for being a streamer? Well, when I first started out streaming, I used the Logitech C920, but then I upgraded to the Logitech Brio, which was better quality. It was better in like a low light situation because I didn't have key lights uh, when I first started. So using the Logitech Brio helped a lot if I was like in a dark room. 125. So yeah, either, either that one, those are like the best of the best. Everyone recommends them. Logitech has really, really good webcams. I have one myself. I mean, I don't use this at all. Um, I use my camera, like my DSLR camera as my webcam, but I used to use a, a Brio before I switched. Mm, yes, take off. <laughs> but yeah, Logitech C920 or Logitech Brio, which is spelled B-R-O, no, B-R-I-O, Logitech Brio. And also kind of depends on like your budget technically. And the two that I just mentioned are pretty um, affordable, I would say. They're not over like $200. That would be ridiculous. I would never spend two, over $200 on a webcam ever. That's just absurd. Oh my gosh, leave me alone. Who are you? Velma? No. Where's where's the, the mystery gang, huh? Where's the mystery gang? I cannot believe this. Cannot believe this. You would have given up by now. <laughs> if I wasn't streaming this, I would have give up, given up a long time ago. Um, but the fact that I'm streaming Animal Crossing and doing this villager hunt through like bingo, it makes it more enjoyable. But yeah, I would have given a long time ago if I wasn't streaming this. You have Velma on your card or just on your island? Yeah, Logitech is really good. Yes. I wanna fly on your card. Is it where streamer has no good luck today? It's a, it's, today is a day where streamer has no luck. <laughs> That's good though. Okay. Island at 426. Okay. I feel like I'll be able to find Marshall on Island maybe 500. <laughs> I sure hope so. Island 500, we will find you Marshall. It's basically 50% of a thousand. You can be our real quick. All good, all good. Don't worry. Hmm. <sighs> this week is going to go by fast. Today is already Tuesday, but it's already ending. Cannot believe it's. Who are you? Stinky? You're not on my card. You're very stinky. Stinky, stinky boy. Stinky, stinky. You know, I will take these pairs though. I will take them. Stinky, stinky. <laughs> oh, you just had to, uh, had to close in and, and out of my internet. Oh, interesting. Internet being funky these days. That's not good. I'm going to put this over here for a split second. Okay, so that was stinky. 
next island. I want to fly. I also think I want to stream more Animal Crossing because I want to get further in those vacation homes. I really do. But 30 jobs sounds like a lot. And I think I've only done six or seven vacation homes. Oh gosh, we're gonna be here for a while. I will now become just an Animal Crossing streamer. No more Sims. <laughs> Dialogue take forever. My bingo card is Sinky, so... Oh, has Sinky so far, not having any luck, same. That's, I don't, I'm not having good luck either today and we literally just started. I honestly really love Animal Crossing. It's like one of my ultimate favorite games. Tell me why I thought that was Tony the Tiger for a split second. That's Rowan. Rowan. Right? I, okay, Sar has been, has been a Pew Pew streamer for, for a while. And I'm like, wait, what? Pew Pew streamer? <laughs> I could never, I would struggle. I would cry if I played Fortnite. Um, Pew Pew streamer? But yeah, Sar has been like playing Fortnite lately. I know Shella has been hunting for, I think, one villager in particular for a while. I don't know. I think this is a year of variety where we all kind of branch out and do different things, you know? It's gonna be fun. Tony the Tiger's cousin. <laughs> Savvy, welcome in. How are you doing today? We are looking for Marshall once more. Vespa. Senora Vespa. Elizabeth, hello. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and so well in this fine evening. Happy to be here to chill. Yeah, chill and lurk away. Honestly, I love Sar. She's really funny. She also loves the color yellow, which is even, which is greater. But she's a pew pew streamer. <laughs> Pew 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 pew. Okay. Oui. Me too. She did a 12 hour stream, I think, yesterday, I think. Like an impromptu, like it's a random 12 hour stream because I think she got snowed in. Um, she's from Canada. Ew. Mac. Like chili Mac. You have a very mean look on your face. And that I do not like. Goodbye, Mac. Goodbye. I've been doing pretty good today. I was watching The Sims live stream and getting really excited for storylines that I want to create. And you know what's even greater is that the fact that I'm I'm a I'm a it gets better ambassador and I stream on the Twitch channel once a month on like the second week on Tuesdays on their Twitch channel. And the fact that my, um, my Sim has she, they pronouns is really, really cool. And I'm like, oh, pronouns are coming to the Sims four. You're doing well tired, but good. That's good. That's good. You know, rest up, do what you gotta do. Jordan, hello, hello. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty good. I like that a lot of streamers are branching out. It opens people up to new games. Yes. And I think it's important because for me, for the longest time, I've always felt like, you know, I talk about this all the time, like every stream <laughs> pretty much. I always feel like that if I just stream The Sims, I'm always boxing myself in. And I'm not growing as a person or a creator if I do that all the time. Plus, I don't want to burn myself out either. So that's why I kind of play like like-minded games like Sims, Animal Crossing, uh, Stardew Valley. And like keeping to my roots of like storytelling. So I play a lot of story driven uh, based games. No, no, I would never become a pew pew streamer. That game's just no, no, no. <laughs> I have been playing League of Legends off stream just for fun. I don't know what I'm doing, but doing something is there any uh oh my gosh if there's any uh consolation you have 
you have one more villager on your card than I do. Thank you. Oh, not you. Hello, who are you? Zell? No. Goodbye. He was your first villager on your island. Did he fit the vibe on your island? And is he still on there? I wish I could come to, uh, to the Icats Better Streams, but it's the mornings and I always am busy. It's all good. It's totally okay. It's like two hours long to all good. We only have, I only have two more streams left on that channel. Um, I'll be having one next month in February and then another one in March and then that'll be it. Hey, hey, uh, you doing great. And from New Zealand, ooh, well, um, I've been doing pretty good today. I've been chilling. I got to do some adult things. I went out this morning, took care of some car issues I had. Didn't like it because I had to pay over $300 for it. But overall, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I was watching Sing 2 literally before the stream. And then I was watching the Sims stream earlier this afternoon. So far, so good. League, is, League of Legends is actually pretty entertaining. I don't know what I'm doing half of the time, but it's it's pretty chill from what I do. A lot of random and chaos. I've also been trying to play old games that I used to play because I played this one game called StarCraft when I did uh, karate when I was younger. And I want to get back into it because that stuff was fun. I was a pro at that game. I could have gone pro. I could have gone pro if I stuck with it. <laughs> Ravenclaw, welcome in. Welcome in. I feel wonderful. Tank, go away. Um, but so far, so good. <laughs> yeah, I don't like paying for things. That's like over $300 or like $500 because it's ridiculous. I Okay, they also said when I went to go pay for my stuff... They said, oh, your card's declined. I'm like, there's no way. I have money in my account. There's, I called my bank and saying, you're over your limit. I'm like, I'm not over my limit. I don't spend that much money. And apparently I found out that one of the companies that I, that helps me with like, with like tax stuff charged me twice. And I'm like, oh my goodness, no. <laughs> so I was like, let's just change that out and we'll fix it later. See, in New York, I don't even own a car. I feel like in New York, you don't even need a car. Because New York's hectic. You can use a train. But Sing 2, by the way, to answer your question, I really love Sing 2. It's not better than the first one, but it's like, it has similar values, like a similar vibe to it. The energy is basically the same. Same characters, same actor and actresses and singers. But it was definitely uh, a lot more modern songs that we know nowadays. So pretty good. A good bop. A good bop of a song. I want to fly. <laughs> I didn't see it in theaters, if you know what I mean. I found other ways to find and watch that movie. Mm -hmm. You know, Hobie, if you ever want to take me on a trip to New York and show me around, I would more than gladly. I think Maggie lives in New York too. A little mod friend meetup. Uh, my mom is having an issue. Wait, an issue with a small amount of money. The newspaper has always been charging her twice a month. That's ridiculous. I feel like I thought newspapers were like were obsolete nowadays. Like no one ever gets them. You've heard good things about Sing 2. It's really good. Tori Kelly's really talented. Yeah, I'm going to call the people tomorrow to see if they can get that fixed. Because I'm like, uh-uh. That was like over $1,000. <laughs> over $1,000 where they charged me twice. Who are you? Big Top? Big top, you're a flop. I was going to watch it, but then it was like $20 to rent. $20? Uh-uh. 
I can give you the link, Hobie, if you want to. I have the link. <laughs> um, taxes are horrible. Especially when you own your own business and you do things online, it becomes very difficult and confusing for a lot of, like, people and the higher-ups of, like, not knowing what your job is. It's like it's awful. <laughs> um, have you watched the fourth holiday? P holiday. The fourth Halloween. Hol oh my gosh. Holiday Halloween. Hotel Transylvania. Yes, I have seen it. Um, I watched it. The day it came out in the morning and then my friend Kayla, little Simsy, <laughs> surprisingly, I didn't even know until I saw, but she had a sponsored stream with Hotel Transylvania, Transformania. And so I watched a little bit of it before I had to like get off and stream myself. Um, it's a really good movie. It's hilarious, but so chaotic. And that's my kind of vibe. It was a digital access to a local newspaper. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah, double charging is like awful. And I'm just like, <laughs> don't mess with my money. It's not fun. Just got to dodge those viruses. True, true. This one, however, is safe, apparently. You're going to get Disney Plus this week. Ooh, okay. Also, hello. I didn't say hello to you. So hi. <laughs> um... What's the first thing you're going to watch on Disney Plus? I wouldn't recommend Eternals. It's kind of meh to me. It gave me Justice League vibes. Really? I thought it was a, I thought it was a really good movie though. That's how I watched it in the watch party. Yeah, it's really good. The watch party was really fun. I've never done them, but I know how they work. But the thing is, I'm like, ooh, it would be so hard. Because the thing is, uh, ew, Alfonso, get away. The way it works is that if you don't have Amazon Prime, you can't really watch the movie with us. You would basically be seeing my face the entire time. Oh, that's Slay. That's not Alfonso. That's Slay. <laughs> Either way, get away. Um, but yeah, if I ever did a watch party, it would be difficult. That's why we always do them in Discord, which I want to do them again, but... My schedule busy. Encanto is so good. I recommend Encanto, Lu Luca, um, Coco. Those are all good ones. I was watching WandaVision earlier today. I'm rewatching it right now. I'm on, I think, three more episodes left. I have seen Euphoria, but I've only watched two episodes of it. I want to get back into watching it, though. Yeah, Encanto is like my one, one number one recommendation. It'll make you cry. <laughs> kind of rude that it wasn't Marshall. But yeah, number one recommendation, Encanto, Coco, Luca, WandaVision. It's so good. I feel like the, you're the only who liked Eternals. I mean, it wasn't bad, but I was just expecting more, you know? Because I, I love history. When it comes like to Marvel things. So it was like it wasn't bad, but it's like I need a little bit extra, you know. Also, can we get some mod love in the chat, please? And thank you. Can we get some hearts and some love in the chat for my mods? You should do the new season that just came out. I do want to watch it and I need to definitely uh give it a go and look. I am a Twitch partner. Yes, I am indeed. I got my lovely little check mark next to my name. Indeed, I am a Twitch partner. I've been a Twitch partner for about a year now. Me and Sh uh, Rochelle have the same anniversary. Oh, no, it's all good. Misty verse. All good. All good. I'm suddenly obsessed with Grey's Anatomy. Oh, that's good. Who do you hate in that show? Because I hate everyone in that show. They're all awful. They have no sense of direction but it is a good show and they got renewed for season 19. i did i saw the new trailer for a uh, moon moon Knight. it looks so good i'm really really excited for moonlight that is not marshall i can already tell i want to see more of it i forget when it comes out though 
That looks really good. Who are you? Teddy? Teddy Duncan? <laughs> Teddy Duncan? Grace is life. Yes. Honestly, I feel like I would cry more at animations than I do. It was real life acting. Same. Real life acting, it has to be like a good show for me to really cry. Like Degrassi, where JT York dies, that makes me cry every time. I love Degrassi. So, but animations make me cry more. Like Up, Up, the movie was, was just a lot. Yes, yes, enjoy your lurk, enjoy your hydrates. I saw that some, uh, I saw some screenshots and like GIFs and videos on Twitter about the new season and it looks crazy. I mean, Euphoria, Euphoria the first season was even wilder. The things I saw in the first season was just a lot. Yeah, they do have a new non-binary character. Uh, I believe they're the doctor who likes Amelia. <laughs> Which I thought was really cool. So I'm looking forward to like what they're going to do next. Also, this is number f three, f 434. 434. Oh, in March? Oh, it's not that bad. Okay, so two months. We've got time. I thought I had Teddy. I don't have anyone on my card. I cry. I weep. You start watching Grey's Anatomy after what happened to George. Oh, so like you're a couple seasons behind then. It's the show likes to kill off your favorite characters and that's uncalled for. I was cleaning the other day and I didn't know. I didn't even know one of my one of my scrubs is a Grey's Anatomy. Scrubs, it's a name brand. Oh, Ooh. name brand. I would love to be on Grey's Anatomy so badly. Like even as an extra, a patient, they better not kill me on the on the table. Cause Lord, lo and behold, if I became an extra on Grey's Anatomy and they kill me on the table, I'm going to cry. Duncan, that reminds me. Uh, the time I convinced my little cousin, my friend's name is Duncan, and she called him that for years. Mood. Wait. Oh, tell me why I thought that was Flip. I almost thought that was Flip. I almost thought that was Flip. Oh, my lordy Lou. Um, there you go, Taylor. The link is in the chat if you want the bingo card for yourself. Uh, you need to watch this uh, Pixar short bow on the Disney Plus. They're really amazing and heart-wrenching. Yes. All of the Disney shorts on, um, or the Pixar shorts on Disney Plus are really good. There was one, I think there was this one short called, um, Us Again. It was really good. Also only on season three, so please, no spoilers. All good. No spoilers in chat, besties, about Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> we don't need to know. Also, who has seen um, another long show that I really like, but it's so annoying, um, is Gilmore, Gilmore Girls. Oops. You're only season five, so it's chaotic. Mm-hmm. I should do a wedding stuff, but I want to color. I mean... To wind down, coloring does sound fun, but then planning the wedding to get that out the way sounds better. It depends on how much stuff you have left, though. Like, what do you have left to do for the wedding? Hopefully it's not too much. <laughs> 13 seasons ago. <laughs> I feel like I need to definitely get in gear of watching the shows and staying with them without having to like take a break and just forget about them for so long. Like I forgot about certain shows like Supernatural. I stopped watching it after like five seasons. Sometimes I feel like Grace, Grace prepares me for Game of Thrones. Yes. Honestly, sometimes I feel like I could be a doctor, but then I'm like, no, there's no way. <laughs> it's all good, Mama uh, Pikachu. 
all good. Not me, not me hearing scrubs. My brain goes to TCL. No scrubs. <laughs> oh man. Ew. Uh, who are these alligators? They just out here trying to be up in my stream. Who do you think you are? Dell? Well, Dell you later. Bo, uh, Bo us again. And the other one about the guy coming out. That was a really good one too. I think it was called coming out, I think. Or something like that. It was really good. Okay. Um, the lava short before Moana and the paper ring were good. I haven't seen those yet. Those are our, our next on my list. Also, do you think they're ever going to make a second Moana movie? Like the decorations and still find a photographer. Wedding's April 2nd. Hmm. Do you have a theme for your wedding? I feel like find a photographer is like pretty easy compared to like decorations, I guess. I don't know. Decorations and photographer are easy, but finding a venue though, that's a struggle and a half. And you're almost done with Criminal Minds. How are you liking it? I love that show. I'm just sad it ended because I'm re-watching it again because I missed the show. Dells on your card? Really? Am I just unlucky today? <laughs> I feel unlucky. Picture is short that always makes me cry is uh, Kit Bull. I haven't seen that one. What is it about? I don't think so. I like the way it ended. Yeah. I think that's some, some like movies and shows. The way it ends, I feel like it's like, okay. That's a good ending. We can leave it off right there. Rustic DIY glamour. Mm, nice thing. Moa and it Moa end it where it should have end. Yeah. I guess you're right. I mean some shows and movies I feel like always like something second, but not Moana. Boyd? No. No. A second Moana, but like a new generation. I would be okay with that. I'd be okay with that. Like a, a new generation, but not with the same character like Moana. Yeah. I like how Pixar and like Disney like are collaborating together with adding new cultures and new movies. Like Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings, that was a really good movie. I mean, it's not Disney, but it's Marvel. But like, I don't know. They're just... Movies nowadays are getting better with adding new cultures and not using like the stereotypical um you know characters and families they're changing the way that things work you know you know what did not need a, another sequel toy story 3 well to after toy story 3 it could have ended right there and i would have been fine it did not need a fourth one i'm just saying it did not need a fourth one if andy was not in it i didn't care you got the ve uh, the venue and the wedding planner. Good, good. Snow, uh, show and bone. No, what is that? Show and bone. Hmm. A second soul. I'd be down for that. The way, okay, the way they made that movie was a little bit weird. I did like the whole animation, like the everything that they did, but I feel like it could have been bad or like something was missing from it. I can't remember what it was. Moana, Moana was great, but they could have death do more. Like, oh, it was uh, Maui? Mm-hmm. He had so many myths. More myths in the Pacific in Pacific culture. Yes. He watched Shang Chi yes, uh, yesterday. Was better than the average Marvel movie, but the final fight scene was twice as long. Yeah, I guess because also was. Cause they're in phase four, like Marvel's in their, their fourth, their fourth phase basically. And I think it's better. Like the old movies were great, but I feel like this new generation of Marvel movies are getting better. Like ever since they started WandaVision to like where they are now, so much better. 
I mean, granted, they've started those movies and shows like two years ago, and they're just now releasing them. The soul's life story would be cute. Yeah, it would be. I also wasn't paying attention to what island I was on. I really don't remember. You got Animal Crossing downloaded. Nice, nice. Very good. I don't remember what island I'm on. I don't remember. I don't remember. 365 plus. Hold up. What is this one? Oh, gosh. Plus, plus 55 plus 16. Oh, I am on the right one. Okay, good. Good, good. I'm on the right one. Uh, show and Bone is a Netflix show. Hmm. Is it like, is it brand spanking new? Because I might have heard of it or like seen it on like that list, you know? Like in the top 10, usually. Toy Story was amazing. I haven't watched the fourth one yet. Like it's, the fourth one's not bad, but I feel like it's, eh. It needs something else. You're in the first season and you're loving it. Oh, good. Who are you? I almost called him Crayon, but that's not it. Cray Rano. Cray Rano? You've been wanting to watch Soul. What is it about? So Soul is basically like about, um, I wouldn't really technically call him like a washed up, um, musician but like this person oh gosh lordy lou i can't remember hold up souls like i don't know it's hard to describe souls since i've seen it so long ago confession i've never seen any toy story um we're gonna change that now yeah we're gonna have to change that hobie who are you and what have you done to my friend Okay, let's go. Let's move forward. Let's go. Uh, you're going to head off and actually get some work done. Yes, Jordan, thank you for popping in. Appreciate the company so, so much. See you next time. Jamie Foxx played the played the main character, Joe. Um, but it's about a middle school band teacher whose life hasn't quite gone the way he expected. His true passion is jazz and he's good. But when he travels to another realm to help someone find their pa their passion, he soon discovers what it means to have a soul. So like he's always been that type of person who has been so focused on like his passion and his dreams. But then when he kind of gets a second chance at life and helps another person discover what their passion is, he starts to understand the true meaning of like what it means to have a soul. Like, you know what? Like, Discovering your dream before somebody else's or helping somebody else before yourself. You know, but it's so good. You'll have to watch them this weekend. Yes, that's your homework this weekend. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, I gotta scroll up in chat. I haven't seen all the stuff. Do this. Uh, it's a, it'll wait. It's a, a sad little, it's a little sad and grim. But Kitbull is about a cat who's homeless. Oh. And he lives with a, by a guy. By a guy who has a dog fighting ring. And he gets a pit bull and the dog gets hurt from the dog fights and the dog and the cat become friends. The cat helps him the, helps the dog escape. And they both become get adopted by a family. Oh, that's cute. I like that. When things turn out bad, there's always a happy ending to a story. That's nice. You haven't seen Toy Story 4, but I feel like I don't have to. I mean, you don't really have to because we already know how like number three ended, but I don't know. Four is just like, mm. it's a little, it's like, it's more animated, more high quality than the ones we've seen before. Reservation Dogs are pretty good. It's on Hulu and it's getting a second season. Oh, really? What is it about? Right? Roto? Rodeo? Excuse me? Who are you? No, go away. Go away. But yeah, Souls on Disney Plus. It's like a very heartwarming story. It kind of also, when I watched the movie for the first time, my first initial reaction was like, never take things for granted because you never really know what, um, what other people are going through and what other people like have or don't have. 
It's like, be grateful for what you have in front of you and don't take it for granted because that stuff could go away at any moment and you'd be like, well, what, what do I do next? Always think about that you have a good life better than somebody else who doesn't. So I always say like, appreciate what you have, you know? So it's about finding a spark into your life and living your life to the fullest. But that sometimes means something different, uh, something different than you expect. It's really about finding joy in all the things you do. That's true. That is true. But nothing can top Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. Oh, Finding Nemo and Finding Dory are like one of the best things ever. Nothing can top those two. I wholeheartedly agree. Okay. <laughs> uh, Emma Rose, welcome in. I haven't seen any Toy Story movies. What? Emma Rose, um, this is your first time in my chat. So your homework this week is to watch Toy Story. <laughs> I want a full page report on my desk. <laughs> I want a full page report on my desk next stream. Toy Story is the only Pixar movies I've seen in my childhood. I think that's the only Pixar movies I've seen in my childhood too. Like when I was young, young. I think so too. If not that for them finding Nemo. <laughs> I'll do my very best. <laughs> all good, all good. I honestly say you will, you will really like it. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What shall we do? Keep swimming, keep swimming. Ew, who are you? Uh, this movie isn't animated, but I love a street cat named Bob. Ooh. What is it about? A street cat? A cat named Bob who lives on the street? Freya? No. No, no, no. Goodbye, Freya. Goodbye. See you later. Uh, this is, this will be the only point in the night I will begin to manifest my bingo card over Marshall unless you find Marshall to help get me bingo. Oh, really? Oh, really, Dab? What if I end stream right now? What if I end stream right now? What are you going to do? Hmm? Take it from someone who is a diehard Disney fan. Toy Story is so cute and so good. Oh, I, yeah. Dab is a Disney diehard fan. We'll buy anything that's Disney and buy it at an impulse. Uh, the new, like, sequels to the movies that uh, came out. That was, like, a child that made me really feel old. Same. Like, Dumbo, uh, Lion King, Mulan. I almost said the aristocrats, but I feel like they're going to do a reboot of that at one point. Honestly, Lion King was literally a carbon copy of the animated version. Like the old one, old one. They didn't make a, they didn't need to make a new one, honestly. Yeah, Freya, I need that luck today. I need to win a bingo. Freya is so pretty, I agree. Some of the villagers in Animal Crossing, like old and new, are just like, they fit the vibe check. 441. Oh, I know this is 440. Sorry. And then I will not give you flip. Oh, wow. Hmm. It's a true story about a guy who's struggling with an addiction and he finds this cat while recovering and it helps him. So they go on this journey together and always makes me cry. Oh, that's adorable. I like movies and shows that tell a story about literally anything that will inspire the people like that. I remember Dumbo about uh, being in uh, constant VHS rotation. Yes. I don't have Dumbo on VHS, but I had, I have the Iron Giant on VHS and some other ones. I have a lot of old Disney movies on VHS. I need to rewind them all though, because I want to rewatch them again. Nothing can beat a classic, like a VHS. Gwen, goodbye. Oh no, it's all good. I don't know. 
Twitch is a weird, which is a very weird when it comes to messages. Oh. You ever seen Lion King on my friends say that's a part of my childhood, but I've never seen any Disney movie when I was young. Uh, oh my gosh. I feel like Lion King is that one movie that is just like a staple in everyone's memory. Everyone remembers Pride Rock. Simba being lifted by M Mufasa. Nope, that's not it. Rafiki. So it was like, uh-uh, that's that's a staple. I recommend it. I recommend the old one, not the new one. Gwen, talk to the hand. You're not Marshall. Get out of here. Gwen's trying to say I am the true star in this joint. Like, no, you're not. Go somewhere different. Iron Giant's so good. The animations back then were so different. Like, how do they do all that stuff? I mean, of course we know how they did do it now, but it's like, wow. I was blown away at all of it, honestly. I remember they also, I remember also watching a movie called um, Brave Little Toaster. When they went to like the one on Earth and then the one in Mars. Lion King is a classic. Oh, yes. I have Lion King one and a half on DVD with the bonus features. And I think I have Lion King one on VHS, I think. Indigenous uh, friends from Oklahoma who are planning to go on to California when a friend passes away. What is really awesome is that this, you know, most of the entire cast are Native American. Oh, that's so cool. I love shows like that. Who are you? Walt, bye. Be prepared. It's kind of lit. Oh, I bet. The island layout I chose has a heart shape for a pond. That's so adorable. Just wait until you start terraforming. You're gonna have a lot of fun, but it is a lot of work, but it is fun. I never realized Jennifer Anderson was in Iron Giant. Wait, what? Who did she play? The mom? Did she, yeah, I think that's the only thing I can think of. The mom. She probably played the mom. Right? I didn't know that at all. <laughs> it's been over a decade. I remember the Brave Little Toaster, but I don't think I had it on VHS. I didn't have it on VHS. I watched it on demand. It's on Disney Plus, but I think I watched it when it first came on TV. The mom. Ah, I figure because I'm like Jennifer Aniston needs a main role, not an extra role. She is not an extra. She's Jennifer Aniston. You don't give Jennifer Aniston an extra role. That's uncalled for. It's like, do you know who she is? <laughs> Come on. Get with the program. Isn't Iron Jen another movie where Vin Diesel says very little? I think so. If you didn't know this... Vin Diesel plays Groot in Guardians of the Galaxy. Nineteen ninety nine. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, he plays. He he does very little. Vin Diesel was the Iron Giant. <laughs> wow, what an actor! What an actor. Am I right, <laughs> Madeline? Welcome back. How are you doing today? Brave Little Toaster. I want to watch that movie again so badly. Oh my god. Are you a repeat? Please. You have to be a repeat. I just know it. Ralph, no. Goodbye. Yeah, he's really good. Like, no, he's really, really good in Fast and Furious. Yes. He is really good. I haven't seen all the movies, but they're really good. He's really good. How many are there, by the way, of... Fast and Furious. I kind of lost count at number six. Wait, what was that number? Two? Okay, three. Ten? Oh my goodness. We need to stop making those. I mean, they're great movies, but stop. <laughs> stop right now. I don't even know where to watch them all, though, because none of them are like, I mean, they're all out, of course, but like, you can't watch them all on, like, on a single platform. 
is a thing. So it's kind of hard to watch them all in one go. The next one comes out next year. They're owned by Universal Pictures. I'm like, where can you watch them all though? <sighs> I try to get them from my library, which I did, but I don't have time to pop in a DVD sometimes. So I just didn't watch them. <laughs> On Amazon, do you have to pay for that? Do I have to pay for that? Cardi B played in Fast and Furious since when? Probably the new one. Fast and Furious 5. Yeah, Fast and Furious 10 comes out in next year. Uh, Fast and Furious 9 came out last year. Because I think they did some type, of like, some type of like Fortnite thing or whatever Twitch thing did. I forget. Fast and Furious 5 is your favorite. I've only seen like the first one and maybe like a split of a second, the second one. Uh, that is what was agreed on before Paul passed. So they're finishing as planned. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Who is this? Who are you? These islands are very weirdly shaped, but they are interesting. Rex, goodbye. Fast and Furious must have Halloween and Nightmare on Elm Street running for the money. Yes. <laughs> they, they do. They really do. <laughs> it's like they're making bank. They're making, they are doing really well. So, I mean, hey. Yeah, there will be 10. Because the 10th one comes out. It will. As of right now, it says May 19th, 2023. Is when it says it comes out. That's what it says on Google. John Cena plays in it. Or he's going to be. Interesting. Interesting. I know. There's so many. You know, I also believe that they're going to make a Home Alone 7. There are six Home Alone movies out, by the way. I, I literally remember the time... Or not the time. There was a stream that we were discussing Home Alone and I was ranting about it for a stream. And I was saying, oh, I bet they're not going to make a Home Alone 6. I look it up on Wikipedia and I didn't think it was real, but apparently it was. And my ranting came true. There's a Home Alone 6. They put all the Home Alone movies on Disney Plus so you can watch them all in one go. Uh, 11 if you don't count the spinoff with The Rock. There was a spinoff? Hmm. Okay. They spent a lot of money on those Fast and Furious movies. All the cars they destroyed, the sets, the locations. It's a given factor. Excuse. Whoa. What? 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 Mm, no, 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 this has to be fake. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. I almost got really scared for a split second because I looked up Home Alone 7 on Google and I was like, wait a minute. That's a lie. There's no way there can be a Home Alone 7. There's no way. There isn't going to be, well, as of right now. Because someone made a, like a little fan-made trailer of Home Alone Christmas Reunion. It's fake. It's fake. If there is, what could they possibly do, though? <laughs> leave the child in Paris this time? They take the kid, but then they leave the kid in another country. That is what they could do. Concept idea, besties. Home Alone 7. They take the kid with them this time. They don't forget him. But they forget them in... Forget the kid in an unremarked location. But this time in Japan. Just wait. Avery? No. The kid forgets the parents. Yes. I like that idea. 
So who do we need to contact again for our, um, concept ideas for Home Alone 7? <laughs> I'm ready if you are ready. We will be the producers, the co-producers of Home Alone 7. I think Avery's my birthday twin. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, Avery is literally my birthday twin. His birthday is on my birthday, February 22nd. I don't like Avery. Avery is a cranky villager. No. Icky. Home Alone 8, Kevin. Kid gets, uh, Kevin's kid gets left on the cruise ship and winds up sailing around the world alone. <gasps> Honestly, though, I wouldn't be mad. I was like, okay, thanks. <laughs> I would be happy. Honestly, if I was left on a cruise ship alone, traveling around the world for free, I'd be okay. I'd be fine with that. I'm like, okay. Yeah, Home Sweet Home Alone is number six. Yes. Yeah, that was made in November. Did you know a streamer hunted for Avery with 2,000 tickets not find him gave up and he auto filled? Oh, that's rough. That is rough. You only have two marked off on your card. Anyone else? You can have better luck? Nope. I mean, I have like three marked off villager wise. If you don't count, if you count free, free space at four, without them, three. I'm having some rough luck today. You don't have a birthday twin? I'm pretty sure everyone has a birthday twin though. Apple? Apple, anyone? Does anyone have Apple on their card? Yeah, everyone has a birthday twin. You just got to look them up. I believe if you, yeah, if you go on the Animal Crossing Wicked fandom. Here it is. Yeah, if you categorize by months. Because when's your birthday? You have Snooty and Velmo. <laughs> oh, my old car was better, honestly. I mean, you didn't have to make a new car. You could have kept the same one. Home Alone 7, they finally didn't leave the poor kid alone. <laughs> wow. I would watch it May 14th. Uh. No, you have a birthday twin. It's Cambira. Cambira and Chuck. Your birthday twin, Sally. Ooh. I was told to make a, a new cart. Who told you that? You didn't have to make a new one. You could have kept the same one. Also, Tabico, hello. Uh, I didn't see it. <laughs> Chat was going by fast today. Um, but happy go. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing good. Um, we are vibing today. Still hunting. Um, birthday twin is Pee Wee and I wish I could forget that. <laughs> uh, Cam Beer is on my island and then Chuck is a bull, which I've never seen. Cause I forget how many villagers there are in total in Animal Crossing. It's been a minute. Oops, wrong, wrong tab. Oh my goodness, Chuck is scary. You got home from work, got your card, playing bingo, very good, very good. I feel good today. I was just talking about the pronouns that we are working in The Sims 4. Hopefully, maybe this year, maybe next year, who knows? Um, and just like just talking, speculation, movies, the whole the whole nine yard. I had to pay over three hundred dollars to get my car fixed, like oil change and stuff, like winterize. I don't like driving. Yeah, why are you here? You're a repeat. Are you kidding me? Another repeat. But so far, so good. I am not cold today. Which is actually surprising. Because I woke up this morning and it was like 43 degrees outside. So I was like, I was good. Who is Becky and Chip? Becky and Chip. Who's that? 
and I looked it up on the app on my phone and then say I had one. Oh, then the app might be outdated then. Because Chuck is... Has been around in the franchise. Well, Chuck is actually not in the, like, in the New Horizons one. Chuck was an old, old one in Animal Crossing. I forget which one. Yeah, Chuck is an old, old Animal Crossing villager. You, we wouldn't see him today. Yeah, he only appears in the old ones, not the new one. Lexi, welcome in, welcome in. Dizzy shares your birthday. Uh, Murphy and Vic are your birthday twins. Ooh, I just have stupid Avery as my birthday twin. But here is the link in case you all want to look at the list for yourself. Also, Sarah, welcome in. How are you doing? You had a snow day today. Ooh, what did you do on your snow day? Hopefully it was good. Oh, New Horizons only. Ah, okay. And I didn't even know they had an app. Don't remind me. I don't, I need to get my car all oil done. Yeah. For some reason, my, my engine light was on and they were saying like something I had to change, like some type of sensor. And I'm like, uh-uh, not now. You know, ch check it off and um, I'll get it fixed later. To be honest, I don't drive anywhere half the time. The only time I drive is like usually every week on Sundays to go do acting classes, but that's about it. The weather isn't that bad here today either. And I had a, I heard snow might be on Thursday. Is it going to be bad snow? Did they say how many inches? Inches? At least it isn't Hamlet. If it was Hamlet, Hamlet will be on my card. No, you're the wrong off-white character. Murray, get away. Oh, it's the Animal Crossing New Horizons guide. Oh, okay. See, I was going to download those apps for Animal Crossing to learn more about the villagers. But then I discovered the fandom website. I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, this is one city in Vermont. The, this week where we had an overnight temps in the negative double digits. Oh, I never liked double digits anything, cold or hot. Well, cold, can't do it. Triple digits, that's where I'm like, uh-uh, no. That's called the ice ages. <sighs> but I'm doing really good though, Sarah. I've been chilling. I made spaghetti last night and I have leftovers. And I think tonight I might finish watching, um, I think I was watching either Harry Potter or some other movie I was watching last night, but I forget. Thursday and Friday. I figure Virginia is, is like, uh-uh. You want snow? Say less. How dare I be mean to Kitty? Listen, if they're not on my card and they're not Marshall, I don't want to see them. You have to go. Well, Misfit, thank you for being here. See you next time. Hope to see you tomorrow. 10 a.m. sharp, maybe. Because tomorrow we are going to be finishing off Gen 2 of my Mixed Match Legacy Challenge. You play Animal Crossing since Animal Crossing Wild World on the DS. I wish I owned a DS, you know, to play those old timey games, but I'm kind of glad I didn't own Animal Crossing back then because I probably would have cried. Because I've heard that the old ones would just straight up leave without even announcing it. I'm like, why? I mean, we've had days off when I was in middle school and high school because it was like negative 14. Oh yeah, same. Same. If it's like below freezing, we wouldn't go to school. You would probably see, them, see me tomorrow night. Good, good. Yes. Tom yeah, tomorrow we're, I'm streaming at 10 a.m. Central time. Who are you? Phil of the future. Go back in time and change yourself to Marshall. That would be great. You found out I started a few builds and never finished them. Lots to do, lots to do. I have a lot, I have a lot to do too, especially for my save file. I'm so 
bad at progression in that save that I need to finish it at some point. But I have so much on my plate. Acting classes, voice acting classes, uh, my coloring book I want to publish. It's <laughs> such a work. I really said I want to be busy this year. <laughs> I just looked and it said no snow here until next week. Oh, that's good. So you have time to prepare yourself then. Paperwork. I read this as bundles. <laughs> I'm playing too much Stardew Valley. Speaking of Stardew, we got to play it again at some point. Let's see. I miss Stardew. Wait, who is that? Um, ah, I should finish my island, but I'm like, mm, now <laughs> the same with the Sims. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to finish my save file, but I need to. Plus I kind of low key want to, so y'all can play with it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, moving forward. Hee hee hoo hoo. Oh my, your eyes. What big eyes you have, Mo. What big eyes, what big teeth you have. You're not on my card. These villagers are like, I don't wanna be on your card, so we're not gonna show up. It's just kind of rude these days. I found no one. Okay. Another kitty, Mo. Wait, do you have a, a kitty island? Is that the thing? Mo just left your island? Did Mo not fit the vibe? Is that because of Rossetti? He screams at you if you don't save your game like se for like seven minutes. Oh my, for seven minutes? I would quit the game if I was being yelled at to save my game in Animal Crossing. It was like, why? Like, how did saving work? Did you have to, cl did you have to close the game or was it like a save feature? Find my villagers, please. Mm, I don't know how that works, Stab. So you have to tell me how to, how that works. I don't know what that means. <laughs> no, I don't, I, I feel like you've told me, but I don't remember. Six out of 10 done. Having all of cats, the cat island. Mm. 50 more islands left and then we can be on 500. 500, be fine, Marshall. Wilbert, chop, chop, let's go. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ew. Oh my gosh. You went to your bed, and when you sleep, you have a choice to save. Oh, that's different. Oh, March. Oh, ew. Who are you? Amelia? No, bye. Bye-bye, Amelia. Bye-bye. Go back to Grace alone. Go back to Grace alone. Goodbye. Uh, Lolly, Felicity, Murray, Raymond, Kiki, and, uh... Girls. Oh, it's adorable. Raymond is so cool. I don't have Raymond on my island, but I would want I would want Raymond on my island, but not right now. But later. Does anyone have a villager that says Badonk? No. <laughs> That's funny. I've never had a villager say that before. Cause I heard Badonk from someone and I've been adding it it to everything I say. <laughs> Raymond just fits the vibe for anyone's island. Cause isn't Raymond a normal villager? If I'm not mistaken, cause, cause normal villagers usually get along with everyone. Oh, smug villager. Oh. I love Eric too. He's on my island. Eric is so nice and so innocent. 
He doesn't really know anything that's happening in the world. Like, Air was just, like, running around in circles. And, like, are you good, buddy? Is everything all right? You good, Eric? I was concerned. <laughs> um, okay. He's the only smug cat villager. Really? Out of all the all the ones we have in the game, the only one. Yeah, it's the only sisterly villager. Oh. Why do I feel like one time we found Marshall and then left him? Marjorie, hi. She's on your list for that reason. Very good. Marjorie, goodbye. Um, see you never. What's so funny, today I'm going a lot faster than I did last stream. I must be a pro Animal Crossing hunter. That's how determined I am. Eric is a baby. He got insulted the other day. I think it was Dina. But this was, like, this was like a long time ago, of course. But like Dina and Eric were having a conversation. I walk up and eavesdrop. And I hear... Dina's saying, oh, Eric, you read? Not thinking that, oh, I guess he doesn't like, you know, read books that often, but I took that as where Dina was saying, oh, Eric is dumb. He doesn't read. He doesn't know how to read. I'm like, Dina, kind of rude. Eric doesn't want to read. Maybe he doesn't want to read. Maybe he doesn't have time. Just don't assume that he doesn't read. Uh, Dina's kind of rude, though, sometimes, but I keep her, though. I have cat. You can have her once I get her photo. Ooh. Daft Dev is keeping all the pictures. Using them for photos. You want Raymond so bad, my friend. Had him before, but just never played. Just never playing the game again. Uh, I bet Raymond is still there on the island. I bet they're still there. There aren't a lot of jocks or lazy villagers for cats either. They should change that and add more. Marjorie is a doll. I think Marjorie's so cute. Hopefully at some point Marjorie will be on the Happy Home Paradise Island so I can build him a vacation home. Who are you? Stella! Hey. Wait, does anyone know that... Does anyone know what Shell is hunting for? I don't remember. Wait a minute, I think I can check myself. Hold up. I don't know what Shell is hunting for. I don't remember. Uh. Timmy, Tammy, Tommy on my island. Ooh, woo. Um. <laughs> Stella's so adorable. Vespa. Have we come across Vespa yet? Um, let's see. No, not yet. Okay. Well, when we find Vespa, you best believe I'm going to take a screenshot and then send it to her. It's going to happen. She found Marsha one time. Well, I'm going to find Vespa. So it was a one of my first villagers. She's so sweet. She really is. I have found her before. Really? Senor Vespa. She look she looks like Muffy. Honestly though, true. You did a uh you did a house for her for the new game. Oh, I hope they liked it. You know, Eloise and Margie would be really good friends because they're both elephants, but it's like I think they would be great friends. If you want to know what what City looks like. Oh, Oh, I know what Rossetti looks like. Rossetti looks horrifying. Comes out the ground saying, save your game. Like, oh my gosh, stop. I think I would cry if I if Rossetti came back. We love friends bullying friends. We really do. We really do. <laughs> you got excited about Marjorie, but it's Mag but it's Maggie on my card. Pain. Oh. Pain. It's updating. I'm take off. I still haven't found anyone. 
You know, Marjorie was the wrong M. I need Megan Marshall and Mott on my card for M's. That's all I need. I will not rest until we find Marshall. You best believe it. Okay, this one will be Marshall. Give me Marshall or Vesta. Oh my gosh, it's ketchup. So adorable. It's ketchup. Ketchup's so cute. You need Mitzi and uh, uh, Mar uh, Maeli on your card. Mitzi is so cool. Mitzi was on my old island and I was pretty pleased. Normal cat, fit, fit the vibe, everyone loved her. I love ketchup, ketchup is so nice. Ketchup and Bill kind of match though. Ketchup is like more of a bright red, Bill is more of like a dark red. They fit the bill. <laughs> fit the bill. Let's go. Okay. You got ketchup on your card? Really? Y'all are getting some luck today. I'm out here getting no luck. And to be honest, this is a very bad debate, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I don't like ketchup or mustard. They're both icky. I like barbecue sauce better. And that's the tea. And we're getting scared and think, and I think I screamed for the first time when I saw Rosetta because I, it made it, it made that loud sound when he was coming. And then he screamed at me. It's like, uh, <laughs> who do you think you are screaming at me? Madeline, don't you just wish you could just respond back and say, did you use, did you save your game? Huh? Rosetti, did you save your game? I just want a, a good old comeback and saying, did you save your game? Hmm? Don't yell at me if you didn't save yours. Huh? Ketchup can go. Love mustard, though. They say if you have too much ketchup, your teeth, like the acid in ketchup is not good for your teeth. Stew pickles. I don't really care about ketchup or mustard either. Yeah. It's, it's bad. If you're at BBQ sauce, I like the honey flavor or the regular. It just depends. The honey flavor or original. Yeah, I think there was another one, but I can't remember what it was called. It wasn't the original kind, but it was like something else. I don't remember. But I will always go for the original. I get them at Aldi's. I think for like a dollar or something like that. But what's your favorite kind of BBQ sauce. I almost said favorite vegetable. Marshall, you're out. You just out here waiting for Stephen to get him. Literally. Yes. Yes. Marshall's just w out there waiting for me to capture him. You love fry sauce. What is fry sauce? Never had that. But I've heard about fry sauce, but I've never had it. BBQ. This is BBQ sauce country. Let's see. It's a name brand. I think it's by Kraft. I almost said Kraft Mac and Cheese. <laughs> um, oh, wait, here it is. Wait, what? I want to fly. It's a Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce is what I usually get in a bottle all the time. My favorite barbecue sauce. Yeah, it's just usually the, the original kind. Oh, it's called honey barbecue sauce. That's what it's called. Yeah, those are the only two I usually get. I was like, there was another one, but I think it was just called honey barbecue and I couldn't remember what it was before. But interesting. Hm. Baby Ray's or open pit for me. <laughs> I love Baby Ray's, it's so good. You want to eat lasagna? 
I have spaghetti in my fridge. Hi, you're not Marshall, but you look nice either way. Melba. Marshall. Marshall. I like how we have a Marshall emote and then somebody else has a Marshall emote. I love that both. I think I'm going to head out for tonight. Have a good night. Hope you find Marshall. Madeline, thank you for being here. Appreciate the company as always. See you next time. We will find Marshall if it's the last thing I do. Fry sauces, I think. I think it's an Idaho thing because we got good potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes. I can't explain, it's just good. I like potatoes, which now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like I should cut up my potatoes and make french fries. Spaghetti is great, give it to me please. I love spaghetti. It's organic spaghetti from Aldi's. I'm hungry too. The only thing I ate today was breakfast, but that was like at, like at nine o'clock. I've been working all day. I mean, I had a snack, but it was like, eh. I had an orange and an apple. Four fifty-five. Can we check off villages we found before in, in the new hunt? Yes, you can. You can. <laughs> I'm fine though. I ate my snack like two hours ago, so I'm good. I had popcorn, and I had an apple and an orange. It was filling, but I'm good. I'm okay. Usually, like, cause like the thing is, I don't need to eat a bunch to make me feel full. I just need enough to get me by, you know. You've marked off five of your card first time I have ever had that many. The most I've ever had was four. Mott! Oh my gosh, wait, I have Mott. I have Mott. Huh, I have Mott on my card. The first time? Ugh, a villager on my card and it's Mott. I got... I almost said Kruger's, but it's, uh... Casey's? No. Clancy. It's the Clancy popcorn I had. It was tasty. You need him for Shella's hunt? Hmm. <laughs> you have popcorn and tea waiting on the fiance to come home so I can press the popcorn for him. Very good. What kind of popcorn is it? Is it the regular kind or like a special kind? Because I love, I love kettle corn more than anything. Uh, what's the deal with the card? So we are doing villager hunting. And when I go to island to island and you see a villager on your card, you can kind of mark them off. And if you get bingo, you get a special discord roll that you can keep forever. It's a fun little thing. It's like regular bingo, but with Animal Crossing. And the good thing, you don't even need Animal Crossing to even play with us. And that's the best part. Oh, this game is expensive. Enjoy your luck, Kobe. Maybe this is a sign that Marshall is near. Maybe. Marshall feels near. We checked off Mott. Marshall bite might be next. Crossing all the fingies and toesies. Okay, this will be on 57. Okay. It's the movie theater butter. That stuff is good. Movie theater butter is low-key slaps. I added a little salt, but I I totally didn't taste it before and added it. Uh, I added it so it's salty. Ah. Honestly, though, I feel like movie theater popcorn is always great. Oh, not you. Not this one. I kicked this villager off my island so long ago. It's Biddy. It's Bitty. For the third time in a row, Biddy shows up. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that new. Smart food has salty. 
and sweet head of corn. It's really good. Wait. Yeah, if you missed another you missed another one. You forgot Mott. That's the other one. Are we behind? Yeah. <laughs> Extinguish the flame. Uh okay. Goodbye. Hop on back. Uh I'm sharing with my dog. Well kinda anyway, he he passed out. <laughs> it's like I'm out. You can eat the rest. You know what I really love? Boom chicka pop. After working at a movie theater for a few years, I couldn't eat it for a while. Understandable. I mean, I used to eat um, Little Caesar's Pizza without the cheese, and that was it. Oh, look who it is. It's Shella. It's Shella the Smella. How are you doing today, bestie? I hope you're doing good. We are on the hunt for Marshall. Shella made me cry the other day. For you all, goblins need to know. And I'm hunting for Marshall and Vespa. By the way, did you find your village that you were hunting for today, bestie? If you did, great. If you didn't, ha ha ha. Yellow sucks from Shella. Mm, interesting. Interesting. That's what a yellow lover would say. Shella loves yellow. She said it before. <sighs> Not like this. Your first rate, Nora. Welcome in. Well, you know, well, did did Shella find the the village she was looking for? Did she find him? Good then. Very good. Very good then. If I can't be happy, neither can she. This is what this is what she gets. I cursed her. This is what she gets for finding Marshall before me. And that's the tea. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. I'm blonde. I can't wear yellow. It washes me out. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we love yellow and Marshall. We're we're only here for the yellow vibes and Marshall. Can confirm your curse is working. Thank you. You know, first it was Momo, then it was Shella. But I've also cursed Momo and Shella. So neither of them will find who they are looking for. Oh, look who it is. Uh, Sissy, you shouldn't have said that. Look who it is. Um, but welcome in, Bessie. You've been on 458 items I island and not gonna bingo. No, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I haven't got a bingo at all. <laughs> I'm struggling, I'm crying. <sighs> Help. But you secretly love yellow. Very good, Sissy. Very good. I am an exception. I wear yellow for Hufflepuff. That's good. That's good. Yellow only. Also gaming with Josh. Welcome in. Shella claims to hate yellow, but she loves mustard. See? You see what I mean? Uh, is that your card after 458 tickets? No. So I've been like counting how many tickets I've spent so far of trying to find Marshall. This is a new car that I made last week, but overall I have spent over 458 tickets trying to find Marshall. Last year we were hunting for him. I spent over 365 tickets last year. Um, I'm still struggling. I like purple with the same amount as I love yellow. Yellow also looks better. True, yellow looks better on anyone. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm a Gryffindor, though, by the way. Wear blue or even claw represent. Mm, interesting. I don't want to play Roblox. Roblox is icky. I don't want to. And the reason why I don't play Roblox, let me just tell you a story. I got cussed out by a 10-year-old playing Roblox because I wasn't playing that game right. 
And for that, Roblox makes me sad. So, no. <laughs> it makes me sad because getting cussed out by children who play that game religiously and when you don't play it right, they get very angry. So, yeah. <laughs> Same thing happened to me when I played Fortnite. Children are kind of cringe. Very scary, kids. Hey, friends from Shell's stream, don't forget to like yellow and refresh the tab for SME to bring in the positive vibes. Yes. <laughs> kids on Roblox are, are scary. I only watch one Roblox YouTuber. It's my friend Megan Plays on YouTube. Yeah, I'm not playing. Can't force me. I'm not going to play. <laughs> Don't even try. Who are you? Who are you again? You're related to Nan, aren't you? No. <laughs> Look at you. You're cute, but I don't want you. You're not on my card. Goodbye. Ravenclaw here. What been Luna's best friend? Put flowers with, Sn with Snape's potion bottles. <laughs> See, I want to take my quiz again and determine what my house is, but I know I'm a Gryffindor. Our pen pals. Oh, I believe it. Not Marshall. That's for sure. I mean, they're white, but not off white. So don't like them. Bring a teaching. I will, <laughs> I will never play Fortnite or Roblox. Kids ruin it for me. Yeah. It's scary. Scary, scary. <laughs> anyway. Children, children. What is your last villager? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. The last version you hunted. Really? Oh. And also Jude MyFi. Thank you so much for the for the for the resub for three heckin' months. Can we get some hype and some love in the chat, please? And thank you. Uh and Tracy, hello, hello. I think I accidentally invited a werewolf to your party in the Sims 3. Oh? Are they tearing it down? Tearing it up? Like it's 1995 because they're a werewolf and they tear things up. I'm not sure if anyone told you if you leave your ladder, you won't get villagers. You won't get higher villages higher higher up. Really? No, really, that works. Should I leave my ladder? Should I do that? I'm worried. I mean, technically, I can always get a new one. Should I leave it? Pro tip: Don't leave a house party. Don't throw a house party during the full moon in The Sims 3. Yeah, it's scary. I feel, I can feel, you can feel Marshall sass at the moment you step off the plane. Yes. Yes. Drop the ladder. Okay. I'll leave it on this island, on the next island then. Kayla doesn't, it works. Oh, you know what? Maybe Marshall doesn't like heights. So we'll, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Marshall hates the heights. He's a squirrel that, you know, can climb, but doesn't like the, Go up high. But you know, he's afraid of heights, okay? <laughs> oh, the villagers will always be at the bottom when you leave the ladder. Ah, okay. Wilbert, let me fly. Let me leave. I will drop this then. Put away. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I need to also go back and get more tickets. Goodbye. <laughs> Marshall doesn't like a lot of things. Like, apparently my island. Oh my gosh, who are you, Harry? You're not a wizard. So, goodbye. He's a small dude. I don't blame him, right? Just need to use your pole. Volte? Yes. <laughs> oh, dro oh, drop it at home. Oh. Oops. Go grab it. Harry the hippo. He's a wizard. <laughs> Okay, let's go home. Harry's profile picture is very daunting, by the way. I cannot believe this. I can feel, I can smell it, I can feel it right now that Marsh is going to be on Island 500. I can feel it. Harry's a, um, an interesting character. 
<laughs> Wrong hippo. I need the other one. Oh, look, there's Pom Pom. Hi, Pom Pom. Hi, hi. Oh, I can't place anything here. I tend to ignore all my villages if they want to give me a, a new uh, reaction. The hippo profiles are fun. Oh, they really are. Yeah, so if you don't know what we're doing today, we're playing Animal Crossing Bingo. And if you want to participate with us, you can. It is never too late to join in on the bingo adventures. And if you get your card now, you can still mark off the um, the ones we've already uh, found. Yes, yes. Join in on the fun -tivities. And Garlic, thank you for the host. Give me Marshall. Give me Marshall. You know what we really need in these streams? The chant feature. Maybe I'll get it for my birthday. Maybe I'll get the chant feature in, on Twitch on my birthday. And then all we just do is chant. Chant the night away. Okay. Wilbert. Orville, let's go. Let's party. I'm ready to thrive. Ooh, what's this? Okay. Okay. Let's go. Marshall. 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 You're not, no. I almost called you Tony the Tiger because of your stripes, but you're not a tiger, nor you are a Tony. You are a pig called Kevin. Kevin Bacon. Goodbye. Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Come on, Marshall. Let's go. Give me Marshall. I can smell it. I can smell it with my picky nose. The opposite of Marshall. Do they not know what I'm trying to do here? Do they not know the concept of Mar and shall be on my island? Now he's going to freeze. Good. Good. Tony the tiger. Goodbye. I kind of want for this dialogue to be shorter. Can we all make a petition where we force Nintendo to make one final big giant fat PH fat update to make the dialogue shorter or non-existent? That'd be fun. Where we go to one island and we never come back here until we're ready to actually go back. That'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> do you think... Do you think that's why his name is Kevin? I believe it. Kevin Bacon. Did Kevin Bacon endorse this? <laughs> so much lore with Animal Crossing names. It really is. I wonder when Kevin's birthday is, to be honest. I have no idea. Okay, this is island number 462. Welcome back from your lurk. Oh, hello. You're not Marshall. You look sad and unbothered and worried all at the same time. Who are you? Pudge? No. My name ain't Mike. <laughs> Why is Nintendo so gruesome with villager names? I don't even know. Imagine being able to go to one island to the next without having to go back to the airport. That would be fun. That'll be a true delight. Hudge is not on my card, by the way. Kevin's birthday is on April 26th, by the way. So if your birthday is April 26th, you share a birthday with Kevin. Yes. Your birthday twin up. Uh oh my goodness. Not the ill to Kevin. Like, are we Nook Nile ticket <laughs> Nook Mile tickets? Uh, remember, they shouldn't have tell uh shouldn't have not told us. This is this is we are their only customers. We are we are their only customers. Their payment is us. Text message I got, Mike. I have the ingredients ready. Do you have time for my dinner tonight? It's like my name's not Mike. I am not like Mike. I am not Michael Jordan. Who do you think I am? 
Who is Mike? Ask what's for dinner. <laughs> wait, what if you, wait, you could be that, that next person. You know that one person who got accidentally got texted by this one lady asking uh, to come over f to their house to for a holiday? You could be that next person. And she looks sad. Uh, don't turn out as fire. I'm sorry. And welcome back, Savvy. You really want Aurora? You have Dell as a birthday twin? I have Avery as my birthday twin, and Avery's icky. Not my birthday twin, but a sad day twin. Oh, they're in another state. No dinner for you. Can't they just ship it to your house? Who are you? Oh my. Pierce? Pierce Delgado, is that you? You have her amiibo? Ooh. Your birthday is uh, April 27th. Look at that. My birthday is February 22nd. It's in one month and I'm so excited because I get to celebrate with you all. I have plans for that day that I'm still finalizing. Frida, the hot dog sheep. Not the hot dog sheep. Your birthday twin. One month, three days, four hours. But who's counting? Yeah, like who's counting? One month, three days, four hours. Your birthday twin's cat. Ooh. And Pierce is on your card. Nice. Creepy mime dog is your birthday twin. Oh, gosh. Does anyone have Coco as their birthday twin? Coco kind of scares me. M Darby, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well and swell in this fine evening. We are on the hunt for Marshall today. <laughs> just Uber Eats. <laughs> You're just Paolo. You love him. What kind of villager is Paolo? How many islands did we search last time? Let's see. We searched 55 islands last stream. If I can get past 55, then I know. I'm in luck. Okay. Coco has no eyes, and that's scary. A pink lazy elephant. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my goodness gracious, the penguin. Boomer. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know which villager were found already. If you search the Discord, they're all in there. They should be in the Bingo Villager channel. If you don't see any of the channels, if you're in the Discord, if you don't see it, make sure you read the rules and then click the yellow heart button and then you should see everything. You have Boomer in your card. You found it awesome, awesome. Your birthday twin's Mo. I think we found Mo recently. Today, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we we found Mo today. All I can think about is sing to me Paolo. The Lizzie McGuire movie. I think of that one TikTok. There's this one TikToker who recreates scenes. And they did the one with uh, the Lizzie McGuire movie and was so funny. <laughs> You're welcome, Angel Faith. But they really were like, uh-uh, that's not her, that's not her voice at all. They've really done her dirty with the singing. Especially in the movie called Raise Your Voice. His hat. Uh, my dad has two birthday twins and one is Raymond. Lucky. I wish I could share a birthday with Flip or Marshall or Raymond. Vespa or, and Marty. Ooh. I almost asked the question, is there a possible way to change your birthday? Well, that, there's no possible way. You can't change your own birthday. There's no, there's no way you could do that. It's not even how it works. Okay, let's go. Next. Next. April 26th. February, ooh, 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 ooh. February 22nd. Yeah, I just have Avery, the eagle. 
Marshall's like Elsa from Frozen 2 and show yourself, literally, show yourself right now. <laughs> it was like, it was three different voices in like two minutes of like, what is this? Hillary Duff, what's going on? I know you can sing, but what is this? Raymond was your first campsite villager and I was in shock for like a day. Oh, did you keep him? Oh, look, I know this one. Dear, dear, I gave them a vacation home. <laughs> if only you had to go back in time and change the past. Even honestly, I don't, I would not change a single thing. Would I make myself taller? No, maybe. Do I wish I made YouTube videos earlier in my life at 13? Yes. I mean, I started making YouTube videos at 14, but what can you do? <laughs> what can you do? Dear Dear Sweater is so cute. You went hunting for Marshall yesterday, ended up taking Ian home on 54 tickets. You know, the best of luck to both of us. I'm finding Marshall one of these days. This year, we will find Marshall if it's the last thing we do. You got Deirdre and Poppy live together in their vacation home. Oh, I re that's right. You can have two of the same villagers live in the same vacay home. Oh, that's nice. Your grandmother and almost share a birthday. Ooh. Oh, you meant that's the only way you could change my birthday. True. That's true. Or I could just technically like, I could go back in time. I'm born. But then as soon as they draw up the papers of the birth certificate, I just changed the day from the 22nd to the 23rd or whatever. <laughs> the nurse made a mistake. <laughs> There's some things I would probably change. I would change my voice. My voice is so annoying. The nurse made a mistake on my birth certificate. Can you change it, please? My birthday's actually on the 24th. Yeah. You were just kind of tired that day. You must have been writing it something wrong. <laughs> you got to lurk. Good luck. Thank you so much, New. Enjoy your lurk. I just caught a, a great white shark. Wait. In Animal Crossing? Cause I was like in real life, like, okay, props to you. Like X game mode, but I'm assuming an animal crossing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why? Who are you? And why you have child kids? Goodbye. Thank you. I feel like my voice is like, I always say my voice is like a 13, 13 year old. 13 year old boy going through puberty. You know? Oh, uh, the way I was about to blame my professor. <laughs> if you were to find Marshall while I was in class, it's like, excuse me. I would have loved a video. That would have been very funny. Also, hi, Sec Major. How are you? <laughs> Not as exciting now that you say. But imagine if you found a, a great white shark and like IRL and caught it, put out her fire. But the child needs to be warm though, so I didn't. The child needed warmth. I was like, if you're not Marshall, I guess I should leave the fire for you this time. Last time there was a child, I was like, nope, fire be gone. No fire for you. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Anyway, next. Okay. I think tonight is a night. A part of me wants to rewatch High School Musical, all the movies, but I'm not doing that. I don't want to go through that trauma, that pain. You're zooming through the tickets. I really am. I'm like, I'm like Lightning McQueen. ka -chow. Oh, I kind of want to watch Cars now. They should make a fourth Cars movie. Not gonna lie. Personally, 
I feel like I'm better at this. I'm determined this time around. Oh, oh my gosh. Why, oh why, oh why, Ohio? Angus? Angus thongs and snogging? No. Angus thongs and snogging. Good movie. Good British movie. Cringy Nickelodeon good movie. Yeah, your voice is really deep and people make a mistake of a man. People mistake mistake it. People, when I talk on the phone, they're like, ma'am? like, no. It's like, do I need to go deep? Do, do I need to make my voice lower? Huh? Do I? No, I don't. Also, I tuned in during the lecture, even though I couldn't hear anything. I saw he found Biddy again for the third time. Ridiculous. They need to make another Zoot Zootopia. I would love that. An anti-vaping ad. Interesting. That's weird. Angus thongs and snogging. Nickelodeon had some weird, like, early 2000 movies. And I was concerned. Daniel Snyder was a weirdie. I think Dab has rigged this bingo. Is this cursed? You watched one of the Cars movies years ago when I was babysitting my neighbor and I actually enjoyed it. Cars is a really good movie franchise. I like the second one. The third one feels like was over the top. I'm, it might actually be one of my favorite movies. Angus Songs and Snogging. I forget where you can watch that nowadays. I feel like you can't watch it anywhere anymore without having to buy it on certain platforms, I guess. I am manifesting it more. Oh, are you for a bingo? <laughs> You're the only one crossing off villagers. Rigged. Zootopia was one of the best. I honestly, I, I like all the movies that have singing involved. And I feel like the way Zoot Zootopia ended, they kind of left it off where they could do a second one. Who are you? Norma? Norma Bates? Is that you? How's your son, Norman? All these villages have some really interesting names of TV shows and movies I've seen. Like Norma from, from Bates Motel, when she was actually happy before Norman. It's really amazing that Georgia is now with Ron Weasley. George... Georgia is now with Ron Weasley. It is. I wish I could meet Ron Weasley IRL. That'd be nice. Ron Weasley. Ron Weasley. Apparently he got paid less compared to um, Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson, which is very interesting. Because I always feel like Ron was like a side character for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I met tw the twins a few years ago. Super nice. I bet. I bet they're really nice. Okay. 1980. Interesting. P pure blood. Not you. Not Hermione. Well, no, it was like not Ron, not Hermione, not you. I, for I forget what the, the vine was called. <laughs> he cracked the wrong thing. Oh, no. But my voice reminds you of a comment from who? Who again? Okay. I don't even know what the message said. <laughs> I don't remember. It wasn't about my comments. Remind me of somebody. Because they gave away all the wrong lines to the other characters. That's rude. Not me. Not Hermione. You. <laughs> Honestly, the vine's hilarious. Is it weird that I, re I memorize the howler that Ron gave to Molly? No. Oh my gosh. Not me. Not Hermione. You. I got a vacation that one of my uncles who haven't seen in 2018 is coming to my wedding. Oh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? 
Oh, relatives. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. It was a, com a comedian who talks about having a voice of a child slash woman. Ah, okay. Ron Weasley. The whole Ron Weasley speech is <laughs> stuck in my head. Ron Weasley. You took the call without asking? Oh my gosh, it's Graham. I do not have a dream address yet. Ever since I restarted my island, I haven't made a new one yet. I need to update that command. Yeah, I don't have one. But I will make one soon though, since I feel like my island's like, you know, decent enough. Probably to come to my island do the dream. <laughs> it's a good thing. Okay, good. Good. Oh, have you figured out the seating arrangement? Because I feel like with weddings, the, the, the venue is probably the least stressful thing compared to the seating arrangement. Like, where are you going to put everyone? That one is stressful, I would think. I am Graham. Graham is me. When I think of Graham, I think of Sim Guru, Sim Guru Graham. You even touch your island in a few months. Vanilla of Lava Boom. Be careful. <laughs> when you go back to your island, just know that your villagers don't hate you. Because they will ask, tell you, saying, you've been gone for months. You, I guess you don't like me. Like those type of vibes. When you're gone for months... It's like they just insult you for leaving. Like, I am sorry I have a life. <laughs> I didn't mean to leave for this long. Graham's photo is super cute. He's a scientist. Not yet. We have round tables. Okay. Round tables are good. That's good. I was watching one of Gordon Ramsay's shows and he like cooked a, a meal with these like two other Italian people, I think. It was like a traveling show, basically. And they did a wedding, and the wedding was on the beach. Like, they ate on the beach. I could never, ever have a wedding on a beach. Like, I won't eat on the beach. There's sand everywhere. We don't know what's on there. We don't know who's been on that beach. Seating sounds stressful, especially if there's family drama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Uh, one of the sporadic Animal Crossing players. So my animal, so my islanders are always giving me shade. It's so annoying. And it makes me so sad. I'm like, I'm sorry I left for a while. I didn't mean it. Oh my. Are you going to go swimming? Hi, Rod. You made a snowy boy? First try? I always make the perfect snow boy. And it makes me happy. The villagers are really really make you feel bad for ghosting. They really do. It's like you texted me. No, I texted you, but you never texted back. What happened? Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like it's, Or like you left me on red. My cousin filmed. Uh, filmed on that Gordon Ramsay show. Really? Wow. I feel like Gordon Ramsay is a lot nicer now than he was before. My all-time favorite villager. I, on my island right now, I really, really adore um, Pom Pom and Eric. But my villager of all time would have to be Flip that I've had on my island, but now it's gone. But then I also like Marshall too. I've had Wolfgang on my island one time on my old Switch, but then I got rid of him. He didn't fit the vibe. I, be, I would be the person that drops a fork on the sand. Ugh. I couldn't. I was like, let me just use my fa my hands. No, it's just the Americans editing. Yeah. A part of me feels like that Gordon Ramsay is going to eventually stream on Twitch. There was a, a clip going around on, on Twitter that like, went viral, basically, of Gordon Ramsay not knowing what Twitch is. 
and it was very hilarious. And now all streamers are getting banned and DMCA'd for streaming uh, Top Chef and all his shows, which is very funny because you shouldn't do it in the first place. But here's my thinking. I feel like Gordon Ramsay could be streaming on Twitch at some point in the future. Stephen likes Marshall? No, I would have never guessed. No. It's not like I'm a, I'm a Marshall stan or anything. No. It's not like I have a whole emote dedicated to Marshall. No, never would be me. Like UK Kitchen Nightmares and US Kitchen Nightmares are different. Oh, yes, I believe you. Like his persona in UK is differently. Yeah. But I didn't even... <gasps> oh my gosh, look at Oh my gosh, wait, 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 wait. Marshall, you want to come home? <laughs> Why am I crying? Oh my gosh, no, I need a photo. 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 Oh my gosh, no. Marshall, look over here. Look over here. Look over here. Oh my God. Marshall, get back here. I'm going to go handheld. Oh my gosh. We did it, Joe. We really did it. Ah. <laughs> Tripod. Oh, wait. Oops. Okay. Now I need to go this way. I want a really good photo. We found Marshall. Oh, my gosh. Marshall, over here. Look at the camera. Look. Now I just need a photo with you. Come on. This is kind of close, but I don't care. Oh my gosh, no. No, no. We found Marshall at 750, no, 707, 471. I'm trying to get, Marshall, if you want to take a good photo with me, that'd be nice, but I'm going to take you either way. I cannot believe this little mad voice of a camera shy. You, ha you know how long I've been trying to find him for a whole freaking year. No, you're not gonna soak in the sun and soak over here. You're gonna are you gonna come to my island like now? Come to my island now. You're on yeah. Yeah, you are. Now. Good idea. Yeah. You're coming to my island now. <sighs> but Marshall, come over here. Where where are you? Marshall, I'm gonna push you. Come over here. There we go. Okay, if I can get like a nice good photo, that'd be nice. I also want to like, oop, handheld. Oh, that is, okay, okay. This is all, it's, okay, we're really close. This is all I've been waiting for all my life. This is all I've been waiting for. If, do I just take a photo this way? Do I just take a photo this way and just zoom in? Oh my. Marshall, would you like to come over here, please? What if I just put... What? I can't... <laughs> we did it, Joe. We really did it, Marshall. I'm going to push you over here, buddy. Push you over here. Okay. 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 Yeah. No. Buddy. Buddy. Every cow... Oh, I can't believe this. Over here. You can't see him, but I can see him. It's like Christmas in July. You know, keeping my Christmas tree up had good vibes. Now, Marshall. Oh, I got to put the camera down. Over here. Over here. Yes. Yes. Okay. If I'm going to do this right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I got a good photo. Look this way. Look this way. Bestie, look this way. I don't care. He's behind me. He's playing hard to get. You know, at least I got a good photo. Let's look at it. Let's let, let's look at the photo. I'm going to tweet it live and on main right now. I found a lot of people too. Where's the good one I want? Here it is. Look at that, besties. Look at that. Look at that. You just need one more. I mean, technically all of my slots are filled, so I can't, I don't know if I can hunt anymore though is the thing. He's going to love his house. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tweet this. Uh, hold up. Okay. 
What do you mean connection? Send only this one. Yes. <sighs> well, you don't need to. I just have flip. True, true, true. Let me see if this works on my phone. Does it work this way? <gasps> it does work. Wow. Disconnect. Uh, he's shy. He's been hiding behind you. Like, save me. It's like, I will. Don't worry, bestie. I will save you. Uh, after so long, you have no idea. I cannot believe this. I found Marshall. I'm going to also change my title, too. Now that I found Marshall, it has to be a thing now. Okay. I'm going to type in all caps. I'm going to tweet this. Live tweeting. All caps. I'm going to just... This is honestly, okay. You know how the Sims team had a live stream today about, you know, the pronoun update and everything, what they're going to do, where they're at at the moment and the content that we're getting. Well, I guess the Sims team was like, if you want good vibes, then be here at the stream. I attended the stream and good vibes showed up. I'm crying. I'm screaming, crying and throwing up. Found Pietro and left and I felt so happy for a right. It makes me so happy. I'm never restarting my island ever again. No, I'm never doing it. Okay, hold up. I have, I have found my child and his name is Marshall. Okay. I'm so happy now. This is, this brings me so much joy. Oops. I feel better now. We did it, Joe. We did it at Island 471. If you want to watch the clip, the clip is in the chat. Besties, I've tweeted the thing, the mabobber. Where is my tweet? Where'd it go? Wait, breaking news. I have no idea what it is. Anyway, um, found a Marshall, found Marshall. Everyone going like, like my tweet, like my tweet, like my tweet. Okay, now what do we even do? What do I do now? I don't even know what to do. I mean, technically, can I still villager hunt without having to um, search? We can still just do villager bingo, technically. Marshall now coming to the Sims. Let's go, besties. Okay. Oh, you need another one to leave so you can't hunt anymore. Oh, that's sad. Well, maybe for the remainder of the time, we could just do... See, we're going to do some more villager hunting. Don't worry. I do want to work on um some vacation homes. That's what I wanted to work on today as well. Because best believe I'm going to kick out another villager. You came at the best time. You really did. You really did. Marshall is finally coming home. <sighs> I can now die in peace. I think once you fill a plot, it'll not be villagers anymore. Miss friends. Ow. Well, you know, I got the two that I wanted. I got Joey and then I also got Marshall. I'm going to get Flip soon. We're going to kick out a few more and we're still going to go village hunting. I literally can't. I literally cannot believe I found him. Like the first time I started hunting for Marshall was last year. I've been hunting for Marshall for a full year and couldn't find him. And now I did. And now I feel better. I feel better. I think Shell blessed you with the raid. I believe so. I think Shell blessed us with the raid and Shell I don't think you're here, but if you're listening, thank you. <laughs> Uh, mm -mm -mm. thank you thank you i saw him before you did and i was ready for your reaction so for all the people that i want to leave off my island i'm gonna try my darn hardest to do it because i want to hunt next week again it's happening i want hamfrey off i want lucha hamfrey lucha rio and boone can leave well no boone can stay Mainly, I just want Hamfrey, Lucha, and Rio to get off my island. I don't want any of those. I just want the, yeah. I miss it. <laughs> no, it's fine. There's a clip. 
There's evidence. I went away to bake cookies and missed it. You missed me crying live and on main. Oh, wait, we haven't seen Joey yet. I want to see Joey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Joey's house is up here. And what's so surprising about Joey's house, it's yellow. We did it, Joe. We really did it. Oh, the hunt is finally over, besties. I feel at peace. I found Joey. Joey has the most distinct eyebrows ever and wears a diaper. And I think it's adorable. Joey might be home, actually. Joey's not home. Jo where could, where's Joey? On out on a snack run. But where could that be? Where could Joey be? I can't believe this. This spot is reserved for Marshall. Marshall's new home. You're never leaving. I'm moving Marshall's house, though. Once he arrives on the island, I'm moving his house because it's due time for him to have a new location. Who was that up there? That's Rio. We did it, Joey. <laughs> we did it. I don't know where Joe. Wait, is that Joey? Oh, that's a, just a yellow flower. Never mind. Who's that? Who's back behind there? That's Eric. Joey, where are you? Um, don't be shy. Yeah, they usually hang around the plaza, which is weird. Usually they do. Sometimes they're always like maybe in the Able Sisters randomly. It's always different. The snack run is usually funny to me. Cause I'm like, where are you going to the 7-Eleven? Where are you going? You know, Brewster, 200, 200 bells for a cup. I'm ready. I'll take some. I love that animation. It's so adorable. Mine would be within the fossils. Oh. Thank you for the coffee. Coffee time. It's the best to drink it fresh before it cools. I'll do it just that. Ah. Oh, that's right. I can mark Marshall off my card. Where's my mouse? Here it is. That is right. I can indeed. And screenshot it. Yes. Oh, what a glorious day. I kind of low-key want to keep hunting, but we can't. But maybe because there's no, there's not really another villager on my card that I really want to hunt for. I mean, Weber does look cool. I don't know. There's some, I don't know who other, who else I want on my, on an island. I've always wanted Whitney on my island, but it's like, no, not anymore. Not anymore. I want Whit Whitney. Let's see. Maybe Bill. Oh, maybe Sprinkles could be a good one. I don't know. There's just so there's so many villagers out there that it's hard to. Uh... Oh wait, no. Now I know who I wanted on my island next. It was Sasha. Sasha was the other one that I wanted on my island. That's right. If you get rid of another one, I can give you. Flip. Yes. You kind of want Eric on your island. Eric fits the vibe so well. He's a little bit, you know, he's not shy, but he's just like not really there <laughs> in the head. But I love it either way. Eric is just like the best, the best. Y you would like Eric, honestly. Oh, Audie is the other one. I think Kayla was trying to find Audie last time. Who was it? Mm. Yeah, I want Sasha next. So we'll have him for Sasha next time. But I think we should go and do some vacation homes, maybe. And see who we can do. You have Sasha and Shino. And their houses are so cute. Really? Tangy. What does Tangy look like? Freckles. <laughs> uh, let's see. I would never want Jambet. Jambet looks scary. Judy looks nice. Tangy. I'm scrolling through the thing right now. Oh man, it's a long list. 
There's a villager called Savannah. Hmm. Scoot looks nice. Where are the T's? Oh, here they are. Oh, I found them. Tangy looks cute. I would want Tangy. I want to I wanna go to work. Dude, this is your birthday twin. Ooh, woo. You have a love-hate relationship with Audie. Oh. Kayla was looking for Tangy, I mean. Oh, she was. And what did Chilla put in the, in the Discord? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, I can take this card off now. No need to see that anymore. You want Opal and Sprinkle so bad? I kind of want Sprinkle too, to be honest. Not gonna lie, I do want Sprinkle. Uh, let's see. Okay. Jamba and Angus are enemies. Are your enemies really? What did they do? Jimbe lip fill <laughs> went overboard. Oh my gosh. The emote, I love it. There's another one too. Who was it? Tipper was another funny one, but I didn't want Tipper. Mm, I really want Weber, even though Weber is a lazy villager. I don't know, all of them just look so nice. But I definitely want Sasha. Sasha's a good one. They fit the vibe. She got botched. Okay. Oh, wait. Who are you? Maggie! I have Savannah. The Savannahs will take over. Let's go in. So I think I am at seven jobs so far of the vacation homes as of right now. And I need to do more because I really want to get the 30 jobs so I can start decorating my uh, villager homes on my own island. I'm like, why not? I mean... If your name's Savannah, you gotta have Savannah. No if, ands, or buts. <laughs> Here's my work outfit. You want that bed? I can send it to you. I don't want it. It's 9,000 pokey, are you kidding me? I'll earn more. She knows one of your dreamies for your uh, ATLA Inspire Island. Ooh. Why they got a baby thing? A baby high chair? I don't need that. But I do want this crypto. <laughs> Why is it so expensive? Wait, how do I send things? If I bought something, how do I send it? I have no idea. Wait, what is that? Is it a sloth hugging a zebra? Oh, Garrett will be very happy. Oh. The band-aids. Yes. I want to grow a lovely garden to create a, wait, rest, restorative space. I must have an art studio worthy of my masterpieces. Okay. I want to, I, oh, I literally read that as self-suffocate. Oh my gosh. I said self-sufficient with my own home garden. I want to share the beauty of flowers through my flower art. Anybody else? No? <laughs> no, you can't have babies in this game. That'd be wild though, if you could. I want to relax while gazing at the beautiful classic things. I think I want to do this one. Art studio sounds fun. Wait, Dab, I found him. Talk to Leave. he'll teach you something. Oh, really? I see. You have some, I do have a moment. I'm supposed to give a talk about flowers at the school here. <gasps> Only problem is I can't find it. I hope this is not too much. Yeah, sure thing. 
since it's Shella, is Shella, is Shella post trying to find them? Then why is Stroller? Decorations. That's usually what it's there for. <gasps> okay. Oh no, Shella hates them. Okay, then I'll send them a, a photo of Hip. Today I'll talk about the fl about flower. Uh, it's the most important and special thing, and the best part. It's easy. Let's say I I have a yellow flower and I plant it by a red one. In no time at all, I ask myself. I have myself an orange flower. Simple as rain, isn't it? And now I'd like to ask you a question. If you plant a white tulip next to the red tulip, what color will it be? Uh, why me? There's other people in this class. Why I always gotta pick me? I'm the person in the class who's like, I don't wanna be called one. And then then call on me. You off to bed. See you later, Kay. Thank you for being here. Appreciate the company. I don't know. A pink? I'm smart. Anyway, <laughs> I also want to do some community games soon. Um, we will definitely play marbles on stream. Very soon. Besties, get ready to be yeeted. Next time. I got plans for my 12 hour stream for my birthday. I got plans. So, your leaf's favorite. I am the teacher's pet, but without being the teacher's pet, I'm just smart like that. <laughs> oh, it's a hybrid. You can use hybrid flowers in your builds now. Ooh, oh, that's exciting. Today's lesson is over. They know we try and nap. They really do. It's like, why are you napping? Ah, yes. I believe Eloise is the teacher of the school. I really want to make the hospital next time. Oh, is it called on? <laughs> just, just for like uh, my energy. Yeah. Look at my school I made. I made this school on stream. I think the day the DLC came out, I believe. And I really like it. And now veg and veggies, I think. Oh, you can? Hmm. Got pizza. Good. I love this school. I got a little bathroom area and everything. <laughs> I think it's cool. Anyway, let's go and do a vacation home for later. <laughs> I'm going to take a screenshot real quick for with hip because I think they have a really good one that they want. Yes. Art studio. Okay. Let's ask you for your vacation home then bestie. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> I need to redo mine. It's unfunctional because you can't walk through it. Oh no. I need to really figure out my terraforming issue with my island. And it's a mess because I terraformed a little bit too much. Oh, I did want to ask. No, that's something different. You redid your school and I made it bigger and spread the desk out more. Ooh. I think I had the option to expand the school, but I forget if I did. No, I did. I think I made it as big as I could. Legendary art studio. Ooh. Where do I put you? I had Brie. Oh, did I not give you a house? Oh my. Oopsie, sorry. Hmm. Dear, dear, Ali, Pom Pom, Dina, Eloise, Lionel, Friga, and Brie. I think this is a probably a good spot, I'm assuming. I like this spot. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, 
Alrighty. This is where the cozy vibes come in. Cozy vibes for the cozy vibes. I'm ready. Let's go now. Legendary art studio vibing. I think this is time. <laughs> Recently moved into your island when you first saw him. I thought he it was Shrek for a quick glance. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised if it was Shrek. Imagine if uh, DreamWorks and Animal Crossing did a collab together. I would not be opposed because I would love a collab with those two. Be nice. I'll put the picture of the school in the group. Uh, later, if you want to see it, I want to see it. Yes. I want to see everyone's school, what they did. Oh, you need a legendary art studio. Well, I think this one looks better. Cottage core. It's what you need. It's how you live your life. I get a white one. I actually kind of like the idea of like decorating houses like this in Animal Crossing. It's a lot more enjoyable. And personally, can we have this every day? <laughs> That'd be nice. It brings me so much joy. I'm so up with the fact that I found Marshall. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Um, cancel. Give me new fence. I want this one. And thank you for the posture check. I think it's important because after sitting here for nearly two hours, we needed a posture check. And we also needed a, a nice hydrate moment. So drink your water. Sit up straight if you're not doing so. Over here. I wonder. That's not how it works in the real world. Hi, Zev. Hi. You missed it. You missed it. I found Marshall. I found Marshall on my island. Or... We found Marshall today, which is very, very exciting. How are you doing today, bestie? How was your stream? Oops. Hopefully it was all goody, good, good. Look at all those beans on the screen. Look at that. Oh, we love Marshall. He's finally going to be on my island. I've been hunting for him for so long. A whole year. But welcome in Raiders. We did it, Joe. We finally did it. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Zev. I hope you feel better. It's never fun. When the tummy hurts, it's never good. Make sure you drink a lot of water. Get some good rest. If you like ginger ale, drink ginger ale. It's good. But enjoy your work. Feel better. I appreciate the raid so, so much. Thank you. Thank you again, bestie friend. Uh, who are all these people? It's a raid. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All the beanie beans. But yeah, if you don't know what a raid is, it's basically sending somebody else's community to another streamer. Kind of just kind of bringing the love over to another person to hang out with. It's kind of what it is. Sending a community to another community. It's kind of like bringing the, the love, the love train a move in. Now, how do I do this again? Oh, no. Oh, here it is. Oh, I forgot. It's what we usually do at the end of our streams anyway. We always rate a new streamer, so you always can find somebody else to watch after I end. It's always fun. New streams, always to watch. Yeah, welcome in. I hope everyone's day is going really great today. Um, I hope you all saw some really great things in Zephyrin's stream. And I hope you all saw and heard about the Sims live stream earlier today. We're getting pronouns in the Sims 4 and they made a little progress update about it today. And that's so exciting. So I'm honestly so excited that we're finally having more representation in the Sims. The game that I have dedicated my entire life to. Literally my entire life. And it's finally coming true. <laughs> but thank you all for the follows. I really appreciate it so, so much. If y'all don't know who I am, I am Spring Sims, also Steven. 
I play a lot of variety gameplay here on Twitch. I'm also a YouTuber. I play a lot of The Sims mainly on Twitch and on YouTube, like Sims 4. But, you know, I like to sprinkle in some variety content here and there, like Animal Crossing, sometimes Minecraft, um, Stardew Valley sometimes. But I've been recently kind of getting back into uh, story-driven games. And I believe we're going to be playing the rest of Spirit Fair this Saturday. And there will be tears. Best believe it. And probably afterwards, we'll probably play Beyond Two Souls. But yeah. Welcome in. Eating ice cream. Got my Switch and you found Marshall. This is the best day ever. It truly is the best day ever. It kind of reminds me of that one song from Spongebob, The Best Day Ever. However, that song is very, very annoying. But still a bop either way. He just kept going and going and going and going. Is this uneven? It's uneven. Oh, no. Wait, what? Hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. The house itself is just uneven. Okay, well, I'm just going to lay it all out there and do that. It's actually a better way of doing it. Yeah, there we go. That looks a little bit better. I like that. I do want to leave this path open for something new. I'll use a dirt path instead. Like so. Or two, two plants here. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. What do I have for the required items? That's a. F I don't need a fence. I need objects. I clicked the wrong one. Oh, it's the list. I always forget there's a list and I can make hybrid plants now. Trash can? What if I just give you trash? Will that work? Will that make you happy? Maybe. But I kind of low-key want to make these hybrid plants. It'd be really cool on here. But the tulips, I don't want. I want the holly flowers. Yeah. You're going to head out and catch up on some YouTube videos. See you soon. And thank you. I appreciate it. Have fun with the rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Hope for a stream. I'm excited for tomorrow because tomorrow will be the last and final day of the A to Z baby challenge. No more babies. And soon we'll be the, on the asylum challenge. So chaoticness. Yeah, happy home paradise time, besties. I have neglected these vacation homes for a long time, and I thought it was time to bring it back. I really want to put a bush on the other side, but I don't, I can't. Yeah, it's been a while. We found Marshall. How long have you been a full-time content creator? Uh, well, I've always been a full-time content creator, technically, but I didn't go full time. That's a difficult question. I mean, hmm. I would say probably since 2015. Oh, why? I've been a full-time content creator since 2015. I've been doing YouTube, like content creation, basically since I was 14, but I didn't go full-time until I, until like I got into university. Because the funny thing is, when I was in university, I had like two jobs and I was a full time student and I was doing YouTube and Twitch at the same time while also traveling for like YouTube and Twitch events. I was like booked and busy throughout and like throughout university, but it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. So for a long time. Yeah, this is the new Animal Crossing DLC. It is indeed. It's been out for a while. DIY bench. Ooh, I want that. Oh, that's a really good DIY bench. Would you say it's easy or difficult to support yourself fully just in contemplation? I mean, if you're willing to put into the if you're willing to put into the work and grind, it can be pretty easy. But content creation can be hard at times for most people. It's like if you here's my thing. If you're not willing to invest in yourself, who will is the real thing. 
You have to invest in yourself first before anyone else, because you have to be your own hype person, because a lot of people think that content creation is not a real job. It won't be sustainable. It won't be healthy for you. It won't support you. But if you're willing to put into the work and dedication and time and effort to make this your full-time career, it can take off really well for you. So if your brother is willing to take in the time and the effort and the dedication to become a full-time content creator, he will be successful. But if he's doing it for all the wrong reasons, then probably not. But anyone can be a full-time content creator as long as they put, set their mind to it, no matter what the cost might be. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself first for anyone else is what I'm telling people. Literally anyone can be a content creator. It just, it's all a matter of like, are you ready for that next leap of faith to do things for yourself and be your own boss and create your own content the way you want to create it and show people what you're made of. You know what I mean? Yeah. I also make content because I enjoy it and it's one way I can escape reality and have fun and find like-minded people, make friends. And I found them and I found and made a lot of friends. Like you all in chat are all my friends. We've made a whole community out of it. And it's nice that we all collectively have similar interests in a way. And it's nice that we are people who like to inspire others. And that's good. You know? And that's good. That's good. I say always go into content creation. If you want to stream or make YouTube videos, go in it for the right reasons. Always. Because people can pick up on anything. Or actually, people can pick up, pick up on everything. If people see that you're not enjoying a certain type of content or you're just like doing it for the wrong reasons, they'll leave. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Um... I've seen it happen to a lot of people and it's very sad. But as long as your brother's having fun, what is this? Why is there a baby bed in this? <laughs> Makes no sense. Uh, I feel like he has to expand though instead of doing one thing now. Yeah. And the other thing too, never put your eggs in one basket. Never do that. Don't put all your eggs in one basket is what I tell people as well. Because if you do that, you don't got a backup plan. If you don't have a backup plan for something, then you're basically not doing great. Have multiple streams of income. There's a stove. Um, there. <laughs> have multiple streams of income. Diversify your content on multiple platforms because that's the only way you'll grow. If you only put your content on one single platform and you don't promote yourself on other social media accounts, then what are you doing? It's it's important to have social media, one, to market yourself to advertisers, sponsorships, and other like-minded people that like your content or content that you make yourself. Make connections, networking. It's basically what social media is all about. Content creation is all about networking. Network with like-minded people. Collaborate with other people who say, make the same content as you or similar, you know? But yeah, I say if he likes Fortnite, I say go for it. Uh, I mean, Fortnite's doing really great things nowadays, honestly. It's worth it. But I say, yeah, definitely have him think about TikTok. TikTok, TikTok and Instagram Reels do really well to grow your platform. <laughs> I've done it before and I'll do it again. Oh, I want this. I'm going to put this over here. Yeah. It's also really good to think about editing too, special moments in streams or in videos that you think are particularly funny or very helpful. Like my friend Zephrin, uh, they've been making a lot of YouTube shorts on like little tips and tricks uh, for Sims 4. And that's really, really good because a lot of people nowadays, like this year in particular, are always finding new ways to get better at building in The Sims 4, small little tips that they probably haven't seen before. And Zephyrin's doing that. So is my friend Rochella and Simsy and a whole bunch of other my friends. And I'm eventually going to do it myself because I think it's important to not only expand your content in a different format, but also 
on a different platform that you're not particularly well versed in, but it's good to always try. You know, it's very, very important. Yeah. If he streams, post clips on TikTok. Yes. Social media is key in order to be a well successful streamer, YouTuber, content creator, influencer, if influencer of any kind. And, and also think about never be too shy to ask for help. Yeah. Oh, I want this one. I feel like I should need a, I think I need a tree. I'm going to put this over here. And this looks nice. Oh, no, I want to turn it the other way. Other way. There we go. I'm going to turn it this way. I feel like I should put it right. I'll put it right here. I think I have a log somewhere I can put. A mush log. Ooh, this looks nice. Now, I want a tree that looks nice. Do this one. Let's put this over here. I can. Let's move this, though, down. Well, that's a bunch of baloney. Okay, let's put this over here. This. This over here. Well, no. Put it back. Oh, I can't. Okay. Move this right here. Can I? Oh, I can. Oh, wow. You're welcome, Bahunts, and thank you for being here. I really appreciate the company as always, as you always know. But we'll see you next time, hopefully in the future, for another stream. Montage and whatever is popular. Oh, mm. he makes he makes it doesn't advertise. But I think he got discouraged when uh, the ads weren't getting views, and that's where it throws people off. Never. Ever, 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 and if we ever, ever, ever don't think about the views because the one thing I can tell you right here, right now, and everyone listening in chat, views will come later. Do not, and I repeat, do not think, oh, I only have two viewers. Oh, my video only got a hundred views. I guess I'm not popular. I guess I won't make it. I guess I'm not successful. Literally take that out of your mind right now because literally views will be discouraging no matter what the number might be. No matter how big or how small you are, views will always be discouraging no matter what because that's what <laughs> life is like. That's what it has drilled into our brains half of the time, I feel like. And I think personally that it's important to do things that make you happy, not what you think is going to make you popular and make it big very quickly. Because if you do that, you'll crash and burn very quickly and you'll be very discouraged, discouraged early on in your career that you will make it a full time. Think about that. You want to create content that will inspire others and you also enjoy the content. And it so happens to be popular that one day and you still like the game. Cool. Like, I don't play Sims just because, like, it's popular or there's new content being made or I think it's going to get me a lot of views. I play this game because I enjoy it. I never really care how many viewers I have in my chat. I mean, I only stream because I enjoy streaming and I like making content and I like making videos about The Sims because I like The Sims. But it's like, will I play Fortnite ever? No, because I don't I really enjoy that game and I wouldn't really have a lot of fun with it on stream or in videos. But if I wanted to, like, let's say, for example, I did this one stream so long ago, and I did also as a YouTube video as well, where I took a video game that I wasn't particularly well versed in that I didn't like as much, but I transformed it into my favorite game, The Sims. Like, I recreated a Fortnite house in The Sims 4 because I play The Sims a lot, but I don't play Fortnite, but I took two kind of similar popular games and made it into one video if you know what I mean but yeah it's always important to like think about your happiness and what you like at the end of the day don't do things because other people get views yeah don't do it, it it's the one the piece of advice don't do things because you think it's going to be popular and make you very popular do things because you like it I don't know what else I want on this I want a chair. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a log. 
Mm, I want that one. Play because you love it. Exactly. Like for me, would I ever play Roblox? No. <laughs> I would never play it because that game's just toxic to me. Ah, no. Put it back. But would I take that game and make it into a YouTube video based on Sims? Yes. Thank you, An uh, Angie Fish, uh, Angie Faith. It's like, people always ask me like, how did you become a YouTuber? How to become a streamer? And like, I get on my soapbox and like just shout to the heavens of like, tell people like it is, you know? I tell people like it is, I'm honest. I tell them the straight up facts of what it's like being a content creator. I've interviewed a bunch of content creators that you already know on my podcast that you might have heard of, like now in Technicolor, Rochella, Little Simsy, uh, Claire Witch Baby, um, Azamara, Twisted Mexi, who's a Sims 4 custom content creator and modder, um, Paul Pancakes. Miss Sembrino and a whole bunch of other people too. So like, it, it's really important to learn and m some things may or may not work now, but in the future, it could help you. It's all about trial and error. Like I never, I don't know what I'm doing half of the time when it comes to streaming. I just kind of play along and play it by ear and see what happens and hope for the best that I'm doing okay. You know, it's all about having fun. Taking it day by day. Play what you love and what brings you joy. If something doesn't make you happy, then just don't play it. Exactly. Like, I am playing League of Legends right now on my own free time. Would I ever stream it? No, because it doesn't fit with my particular audience. But also, it doesn't also really speak to me as a game I would play on stream for like three hours. Oh, really? Let me squeeze it right there. Right. Oh, fine. Well, no. Hmm. Oh, do we have a grill in Animal Crossing? I don't think we do. There should be a search bar in this game, honestly. It's Shrub's birthday today. Really? <gasps> what did you get them? Anything special? Hmm. Did you did you? I bet they were expecting a really good gift. I haven't had a chance to really celebrate any of my villagers' birthdays on my island because I've been gone and I've kind of low-key neglected them a little bit. I've neglected my villagers. I didn't mean to. I just kind of low-key forgot. I think this is good for now. The art studio is fully inside. Um, anyway. Um, hmm, I don't know. Wait, what island did we find him on? Wait a minute. Okay. Thank you, Dab. Trashy people, scamming, scamming people for bells? Kind of rude. When you play a game offline, wait, when you play games offline, do you sometimes pretend there's an audience because that's cool? Yeah, I do. You're getting something right now. Ooh, tell us. We won't, we won't tell. We won't, we, we won't tell Sherb what you told us. It'll be our secret. <laughs> I do kind of pretend um, that there's an audience. Like when I'm playing like, when I play Sims by myself, like off off stream, not recording or streaming it, I pretend that somebody's there and I talk to myself or I talk like there's chat. And um, when I play like League of Legends or like City Skylines, I talk still. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back. I want to expand the room to like eight and then, yeah, I don't want any windows really. Well, then windows will look good, though. What happened here? Oh, it's the walkway. I knew that. There we go. That's better. 
But I just realized I have partition walls now and I feel happy. Ooh, this is so exciting. Okay. How do I get the partition walls though? Hmm. Mm. Partition walls? Shimin is very fun. I miss doing it. Honestly, Shimin is very fun. I have no plans of, I have no plans of ever stopping. Because I could never see myself stopping streaming is a thing. Wait a minute, what? How do you get partition walls? I have no idea. I'm so confused. Camera finished. Hmm. Oh, when I look in furniture. Oh, okay. Everything. Wallpaper? I'm going to view some of this. Uh, and thank you so much. I'm so happy I found Marshall. It's about time. It's been 84 years. Should I give him a blue beret or an acid white jacket? Uh, acid wash jacket. Acid wash jacket looks cooler, but then the beret though. No, I would cover. I would probably go with the beret. The beret would look cooler. Yeah. It should be in the first category. Own oh, houseware. Let's see. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, that's not it. Hmm. <laughs> it's really, really fun. I have no plans of ever stopping. It's my favorite thing to do. Huh, I don't see it. Wait a minute, what? Should be in the first category. Where? That's weird. Do you have unlock? I have un I've unlocked them. It said I had the option to do partition walls last time. Oh, right here. I didn't go further enough. Thank you. The other category. Thank you. <laughs> I don't remember how to get comfortable speaking. I don't know. Let me know when that happens. Cause I have no idea. I don't see. I guess cause I just, I mean, when it comes to talking on stream, I pretend that somebody's always there at least like, I mean, I talk to myself all the time. Nine times in my day, I'm always talking to myself, but comfortable talking on stream. Honestly, I would probably say, I don't know. I just say, just keep doing it. And eventually it'll phase out. Like for me, I'm never comfortable talking. Like my, I don't like my voice half of the time, but you all seem to like my voice. So I'm like, okay, sure. Um, I don't know. I just kind of learned to love my voice over time because with, I guess, because I got practice when it came to speaking in my YouTube videos more regularly when I was younger in high school. And so when I started doing that a lot more, I just kind of got used to just talking in front of people. So. But I wanted to stream and I obviously need to talk. Honestly, though, you don't always need to talk, but like it's. Whatever makes you comfortable personally. And I think that it's important. Is that a window there? Uh-uh. Wait a minute. There it goes better. Yeah, you better like it. If you don't like it, then get out. <laughs> Be grateful, Strip. I spent money on you. Uh he wasn't really impressed. Well, Honestly, ungrateful. It's like Sim saying poorly decorated homes. I'm like, that's not right. That's not right. I don't just talk to myself too much. I do it at work and my customer near me just stares at just stare at you. Yeah, same. It's just like I talk to myself in public is a problem. At least for me. I think it's a problem for me. But it's like 
when it comes to streaming, I feel like it's easier because someone responds back to you, um, which is good. Um, I mean, if like if you're first starting out with streaming and no one is in your chat or like no one's responding to you, just pretend that somebody's there. Because eventually someone will pop up in chat and like respond to your like answer or not answer your question or whatever it might be. So eventually someone will appear in your chat chatting with you. Even if there's no one in your chat, just pretend someone's there. Pretend you're talking to your best friend or your mother, your father, your uncle, the person from down the street, your next door neighbor asking for butter. Um, whatever have you, it might be. Just pretend that somebody's there. Even if no one's in your chat, just pretend. I pretend like nobody's there, but I know somebody's there. But not out loud. Oh, I talk out loud, and that's my problem. <laughs> I talk out loud. I don't think I should talk out loud. Wait, you said you had an easel, but you lied to me. Banished, I say. Banished. Some villagers should be grateful for what they have, you know? They should be grateful. You know You know what, Dab? Not Dab. Also Dab, too. Dab and Savvy. If your villagers don't like the gift that you give them on your birthday, remind them that they should be grateful that you brought them to... You, you gave them a home on your island in the first place. So... And I think that's for everyone in chat. If your villager has a birthday party and they don't like your gift, just remind them. I gave you a home. You don't got to be here. <laughs> you got to be here. You don't have a best friend? Well, we are your friends then. Talk to your pet hamster from down the street from two years ago at your house in the suburbia area in the wintertime named Harold. Talk to Harold, your old hamster from two years ago in the suburbia area in the wintertime from your old home. Pretend that the hamster can talk. You can always go with that. Pretend that Harry the hamster from two years ago is your best friend and you speak to them. I denied Sasha for sure. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe this is really this is really why I should have taken Sasha. Yeah. Sasha's like, see? You see what I mean? Sure, it was awful. You should have taken me. Welcome back. Yeah, I found Marshall. I did. I found Marshall, and today has been wonderful. <sighs> We're still gonna be hunting, though. I'm gonna eventually kick out some old villagers uh, this week. I'm gonna grind this week to kick out some old ones so we can go hunting again. That is my plan. I want this chair. <laughs> I'll pretend I'm talking to my dog. Uh, I'm used to doing that when he's around. Very good. Very good. We have a wheelchair in this game? Wow. Oh, you know what? This is giving me some vibes. I'm getting some vibes right now. I have a wheelchair in here. So I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to unlocking the hospital. And that I am looking forward to. I don't like talking to my mind. I was alone in a hospital for like a week, uh, four a week years ago, and I was isolated and I don't talk to my mind, speaking to myself out loud, but not so loud helped me mentally. That's good. I think it's an, it's important, at least for me, it is to talk out loud to get all my thoughts out there. Cause if I talk in my mind, I won't remember half the stuff I said. Yes, yeah, it's, it's good to talk to yourself out loud at times. You have a TV. Wall mount. Ooh, a radiator. That's interesting. I've never seen it before in my life. I want this. I want that. I want this. I want that. I want that. Bulletin board. Key holder. Uh, I don't know. This is the best day of my uh, best day of your life because you found Marshall. It really is the best day of my life. My life has gotten more simpler. I can check that off of my bucket list. I found Marshall now. Next up, get on the Forbes 30 under 30 list. <laughs> That's my next goal in life. 
talking to pets is so nice. Oh, it really is. I'm so glad you found him. Thanks. I think next, um, Dab is giving me, Dabney is giving me um, flip. But our next son will probably look for, um, we'll look for Sasha. Which, honestly, for me, I feel like we're going to be hunting for a, literally a millennium if we find, if we're trying to find Sasha. But I think it's worth it. There's a slightly chance someone will get bingo. You found him only a few villagers after I left. Yep, indeed I did. And I was like, here is Marshall. I cried. I nearly cried on stream because I found him. I spent literal months, a whole year trying to find him. And then he showed up and it was like, I'm just right here. I'm right here. Could have been in your home, your island this entire time. You know, personally, I feel like me finding F Joey at the time that we did kind of helped us a little bit of getting a, one step closer to finding Marshall. So I think getting Joey was a good thing. Yeah, definitely a good thing, 100%. I wish there was like a refrigerator I could grab. Cordless phone, I'll take it. First aid kit, tissues, cartoonist set. No. Scrapbook. Second Mecca jeans. What's that? Dispenser. Files. You saw the clip and I, uh, I was excited even though I knew you found him already. Oh, thank you. Oh, a laptop. TV. I think finding, finding Marshall was like the best thing. It was a highlight of my year. I said I would cry less if I found Marshall. Well... I haven't cried yet. Good. No, I cried this. I cried one time this year. From stress. And that was it. Um, mine are more like stress cries. They're never like emotional like cries. Uh, do you have multiple swatches or different game cards? Or just one thing all, the, all together? Oh, and this one? Oh, multiple, oh, you said you said switches. I said swatches. I have two switches. I have two switches. Um, I have one on my Nintendo Switch Lite. But what's good about this though is that when you end up buying a new Switch, you don't need to buy it again, which is actually kind of great. At least it worked for me. I didn't have to buy the game again because I had the same account. And I was just kind of just switching from one switch to another switch. So all the stuff transferred over, which is great. That's the one thing Nintendo did right. When you're just changing switches, but with the same account, you don't got to buy the game again. Saving yourself money and time. However, though, if you wanted to have another switch for a new island, for a different profile, I think you would have to buy the game again, I think. Or I think you would need to buy the Nintendo Online again. I think so. I forget. You cried today finishing Spirit Fair. Oh, that's sad. Who did you like the most in Spirit Fair? Shower booth, toilet, toilet, vacuum. Yeah, I think so. Because I know that on my old Switch, what I'm trying to do nowadays right now is transferring old stuff on my old island to this island. So I had to make a whole new profile because apparently I can't be on the same Switch or I can't be on two different Switches at the same time on the same account playing the same game. So I had to make a whole new profile on one of my, on my Switch and buy the Nintendo online just so I can play on this switch and my other switch at the same time if need be so it's definitely really difficult can't play the same game at the same time on the same account it's so weird i don't really care for game cards they're hard to keep up with oh they really are everything i buy is digital yeah i don't buy game cards 
I bought this off of the East the uh, East store when it came out. I was like, I am not buying digital. Or I'm not buying physical. That's too much work. No me gusta. Not for me. I'm gonna put this back. It's plus it's easier. Plus I'm not really a diehard Nintendo fan, really. To keep up with all the game cards. I only have one game card ever. And that is only Minecraft Story Mode. Season 2 is all I have. And that's literally it. I'm gonna put that there. Let's move this back over here. Yeah. Gotta love a tool, but Gwen was the first. Gwen was was the hardest one to let go because she was like a good one. One of the good ones, honestly. Buck is special. Yeah. I still have Buck on my boat and I want him to leave so bad. Hopefully by the end of, well, yeah, hopefully by Saturday, which we're going to finish the game, Buck will leave because I want him gone out of here. Gone forever. I have realized I didn't have this over here. You stopped buying physical uh, for any console ever since the PS3 stopped reading discs. Never again. PS3. Wowzers. Jinkies. Oh my goodness. I have never owned a PS3. I owned an Xbox 360. And let me tell you, it was a time and a half trying to get that certain games to run. It was difficult. It was a time. But it's so weird. I feel like PlayStation and Xbox... At the, it only goes up to a certain point for the console to read certain stuff. Like my Xbox 360 no longer works. Any, well, it works, but not for that long. I get the uh, the red ring of death is what they call it nowadays. Like the red ring around the circles. I get that time to time. And it's just sad. Because all my old Xbox games don't work on my new Xbox. And I'm just like, why? Oh, why? It's over here. Can I rotate this and then still use it? I don't know. You're playing right now. Summer make me cry a lot. But I think that uh, that's because she reminds me of my favorite aunt. Oh, oh I can't still use it. Can I use the toilet? Can I use... I turn this in the shower. Oh, wait, what? Wait, no, stop. Hmm, that's weird. Hmm. Uh, I got that one. It's scary. It really is. Xbox is just like, mm, no, 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 no. This is over. Oh, no. Got to move this over here. This will be the last thing we'll do before we do the clip of the day. We'll finish this lovely room or this vacation home and then we'll do the clip. Let me, let me put it back there. Thank you very much. They really need all this stuff in their home. Not really because it doesn't fit. Welcome back, Dab. We were just discussing the clip of the day, like what we wanted. I was going to say, I'm almost done with this. I'm, I don't, you know, they don't need it anyway. They don't need it. They don't need that. Not even the slightest. No. What do I else? What else do I put? Oh, a little piano would be nice. Oh, you have it already? Good. Kind of rude that the toilet plunger wouldn't fit. I guess they don't want one anymore. They don't, don't they don't deserve one. They don't deserve a toilet plunger at all. You know what? When in doubt, use your vacuum. The Sims does it all the time. They can vacuum their toilet. So can you. <laughs> so can you. If the Sims can do it, so can you. There we go. There's only one clip that's fitting for today. The clip that we clipped today is that the clip? 
20 minutes and still feels like a long moment. Uh, I was in my room panic for like 20 minutes and then my mom found it in like 10 seconds. Our moms find stuff the easiest and like, how did you find this? I don't understand. Oh, turned off the light. No. Oh. I don't want to change it. I want to move this over here. By your life. Good night. Um, let's go over here. Maybe. Oh, hmm, interesting. Interesting. Wow, I would have never would have guessed it. I watch too much TikTok. TikTok consumes my soul. I, was, I watch too many. There's this whole clip running around about a certain sound. Ooh, this one. Yes. All I really need is a, is a table. I gave away too many hints. <laughs> too many hints. Don't be shy. Tell us some more. We're listening. We're always listening. Uh, my mom would always be like, if I go there, go there and find it, you're going to get it. <laughs> it's like a, if I find a fork in, if like, if I find a dirty dish in the sink, you're going to clean the whole kitchen. <laughs> and then you start sprinting over to the kitchen. Like, I don't know. I didn't do anything. No, no, nothing, nothing of the sort. No, 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 no. Glance over at the stream and they were talking about TikTok TV. You know, TikTok consumes everyone's life. TikTok is life-ish, maybe. I don't know. It just depends on what side of TikTok you're on. Low-key, I kind of want to be on prison TikTok, not gonna lie. It is low-key entertaining. I'm just saying. Why did I buy, why did I get this? Put that back. This is over here. Water cooler. Take it away. Over here. I need a table. Back. <laughs> That's how I feel with Facebook and the ads that pull up. I bought those blue light glasses and now I get ads for glasses. Yep, it happens every time. It's like they just know, you know? I don't want it on that wall. I want it on the other wall. Wait, do they not work on partition walls? That's weird. I usually get ads ab about like things that I'm thinking of buying, but don't buy. And they disappear everywhere on my screen. Like why? No. You install the apps. <laughs> you really do. I honestly need to, need to delete apps off my phone, but I just don't. I need to delete Twitter off of my phone, like the app itself, because I don't need to constantly be on my phone with the app. Because, like, sometimes I'm, like, inclined to open up the app and see what's happening, but I could just use my computer. Less time on my phone, less time on Twitter. A bookmark three TikTok, that's it. No account. No account that can see comments. Comments are toxic. Oh, they really are. Oh, TikTok is toxic. Toxic TikTok culture scary Ooh, i don't like that couch oh yep i'm gonna put it back i want a different couch i want this couch a simple sofa for a simple person facebook listens mark zuckerberg was like i see all and know all we're going into the metaverse. I'm like, uh, no, no, we're not. We're not doing that today. Don't even think about it. My uncle did explain how it works to actually listening. Oh yeah. I know how, like, I know how it works. It's like, it's, um, it's like the algorithms, like whatever in your search history, like, there's some like simple logic behind it for sure. Yeah. It's weird logic, but it, it's how they capture your data. It's whatever, like the, the cachings, the cache files, Google and everything. It's weird on how they find things. 
Simple sofa is just like The Sims. Exactly. Simple sofa for a simple sim. All of my sims are simple. That's a stool. I want that stool. I want the white stool instead of the other ones. This is a random art studio, but you know, it's, they are a random art studio. They can deal with it later. But the cordless phone? Where is the, I was like, where's the phone? I can't find it. The mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. Put that here. And then that, can we put up here? We cannot put on top. Okay. Well, I feel like this is all I can do. Yeah, allow cookies. Yes, the cookies was, will get you. But do you know they aren't listening to you? Yeah, they, they're not really listening to us, but they're listening by watching, collecting your cookies, eating all your cookies, all the data, all the data in the ward. It's about the government tangle cords, not the game exposing my computer cords being tangled. You know what? You can put, you can, you can have it. You can have it right here near your stove, right there. Enjoy. I can't put this up here. What? Oh, there we go. Perfect. It's better. I like that. I like that. The little tea thing on the stove. Perfect. I love it. I wish I could put stuff on the partition walls, but apparently I can't, which is so weird. You know what would make it more festive and more exciting? Groceries, of course, and a fire extinguisher, but not that. Streamers. Streamers always make it better. Like in some Facebook are connected to connected, so they pull stuff from the shopping. Yep. They do be doing that. I finally put my online store as a shoppable thing, which is quite surprising because I didn't think it would work. How did that thing get all the way up there? Oh my goodness. I don't remember putting that up there. You know, I miss the times when it was simple. Whatever happened to Tom Anderson, our first ever friend of MySpace. That looks better. Hello? Hello? It's me. Copy. Roger, Roger. Okay. We're going to make these like Christmas. Yes. Hee <laughs> hee. Christmas, Christmas. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Do 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 do, Caillou. Do 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 do, Caillou. Hmm. What's over here? Will I be able to copy and pass all this over without interfering with anything? I put this down here. Copy and pasta. There we go. All the streamers in the world. They have dedicated their lives for the streamers. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back. Thank you. Okay. Wait, you forgot. I forgot it's store now. <laughs> you put it up there uh, to get out of the way. Mm, I forgot about that. Hello, it's Glee. I want to watch Glee again. But that whole show is a fever dream. And it makes me like, what just happened? You know, this is all they get. This is all they get for their art studio. Not the best, but also not the worst. Yellow. Hello. Did they get a yellow couch? Ooh, yellow. Ooh, yellow couch. <gasps> That's what I want. I really want this yellow couch IRL. I found one, but it's too expensive. So I said, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. It was from Wayfair. It was a perfect shade of yellow. I'm like, mm, no, no, I'm fine without this couch now. No need to splurge like that. 
Not now. Not ever. Light blue. That looks like turquoise. Ash brown. Gray. White. The sheets can be yellow. There we go. The whole house just matches. That is a time that I am willing to celebrate. You place everything down and then you recolor everything else later. Put in the right spots. And then you know you have a good a good system going on here. I want to change the flooring. <laughs> I want to change the floor. Ooh! Wait, this is nice. I like that floor better. The pink? The pink and what? Which one? Can I change? My eyeballs. I love it. I love it. But what was in pink? The bed? I don't want to pick it up. I want to change the chair. Oh, you wanted the pink, the pink frame. Oh. My eyes! <laughs> the yellow is really alarming. It really wakes you up. It's like, hi, I'm here. It's like, oh, okay. Well, this is a nice frame. Don't you think in the pink? Oh, that's, not, that's a nice color. I like the yellow. It works with my vibe. What? <gasps> Ooh, peaches and cream, pears, cherries, apples, oranges, labeled. I want this one, peaches. Yes. This is a nice little home, little art studio. It works with the times. The vibes are immaculate. Yes, indeed. Okay. Let's go down here. The pink one. It doesn't match though. Mm, we'll go with natural. It's fine. <laughs> this is so cool. I feel like there's something there's something missing. A rug in the front entrance way. Yes. We need a rug. Ruggy rug, 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 rug. Where do we get it's not an exercise mat? How much do you want to spend on the yellow couch? IRL or an animal crossing? Because IRL I don't want to spend more than $300 on the couch. I forgot how much I paid for the couch I have now. I think I think the couch that I have now from Wayfair was like 300 something. So that'd be fine with spending $300 or like 350. It's cute. It brings the room together. It really does, honestly. It really does. I just wish you could put stuff on the partition walls as a thing. But you can't. You found the wafer when you were talking about really? <laughs> How much does it cost? With the amount of time I spend on my couch, I feel like a good couch is worth it. Oh yeah. I mean the one I have now is like perfectly fine. I sleep on it half of the time. I play video games on it half of the time. 1k? Yeah, no. <laughs> $1,000 for a couch? No. If you could put stuff on the partition walls, that'd be nice. It would be. We would spend more time on this. But for now, this is it. Take a photo. Oh, oops. I take photo now. That's my pro camera. Good and bye. <laughs> Gotta zoom out. I got the zoomies. Zoomy zoom. Zoomy zoom. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Picture. Ah, that's a nice one. Yeah, legendary art studio. Like if I, like, what I like to do is put pillars on the end of partitions to make it look ni nicer. Oh yeah, I don't think I have them. Um... Wait, do I do I unlock pillars along with partition walls or is or is that another thing I have to wait for and unlock? Because right now, all I have is partition walls. 
I think I have to wait for that one. Oh, they're separate. Oh, okay. Yeah, and definitely call, uh, pillars do look, will look better, especially in the ends. It completes the room. I'm done. I'm ready. I'm not 100% sure when you get them, but they're a game future. Oh, I believe you. I've seen videos. I follow this one YouTuber. I think they're called Froggy Crossing on YouTube. That's true. I can get slip covers. That's true. Where's my mouse? Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have coffee. love these transition scenes they're always the best they bring me so much joy they really do you're welcome i don't have plans no wait building models or anything no i'll be heading back now goodbye Alrighty, besties get ready for the clip of the day Give me pokey. 9,000 pokey. <laughs> is that the clip of the day? Is that what it is? I'm finished. <gasps> we did it, Joe. We really did it. Anyway. It is. I should have known. I should have known. But anyway. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone. If you all haven't seen it already, you get to see it now. The clip of the day is the best type of day. We are celebrating. We are celebrating once more. MPH, thank you for the 21 month resub using your Prime. I appreciate it so, so much. And you came with a perfect time. I found Marshall today. And so today is a really, really great day. And we're about to watch the clip of my reaction too, which is even better. But hey, hey, welcome, welcome in. Here's my reaction, by the way, besties. Here's the reaction. Yeah. Look at me. But I didn't even. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 wait. Marshall, you want to come home? I'm crying live Why in on main. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, I need a photo. 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 Oh my gosh, no. Marshall, look over here. Look over here. He look wouldn't, over here. He wouldn't take a photo he with me, but I tried. Marshall, get back here. I'm going to go handheld. Oh my gosh. We finally found him we finally found him we found marshall it's been forever there's so many clips of me hunting trying to find marshall and the most unexpected thing has ever happened it's ridiculous but it was honestly worth it our next hunt might not be until like i don't know when but i'll announce it in discord on who's going to be leaving next because besties we are hunting once more we're going to try and hunt for sasha next time but we'll have to see when that happens whoever ends up leaving my island soon i just don't know who that will be but and what's even funnier i didn't even wear my marshall outfit i was going to but then i forgot i forgot that i was going to wear my marshall outfit i feel like he would have been scared if i did so I just decided not to wear my uh, outfit. But luckily, he has my island and he can never leave ever again. 
ever again. He can never leave. He's not allowed to leave. Ever. But anyway, besties, I think it is time to rest and do the quote of the day. That's not how you spell quote. Maybe the outfit you wore was enough. I believe it. The quote of the day is when you walk into a room and you forgot that you were there, someone canceled your action. Yes. <laughs> he left one already. Why is Marshall so special? At least for me, I, I wanted Marshall. He's a smug villager. He's so kind and so, so hardly wonderful. I just needed him. And I have him now. And that just makes me even more happier. I just wanted him. And that's the tea. <sighs> it's going to be such a good time finding some more villages. Honestly, it's going to be epic. Didn't we have a prediction? We did. Wait, we had a prediction. We did indeed. You all now. I don't know who made it. I don't know who made it. But the prediction can now end. There was a prediction. Thank you. Thank you all. I appreciate it so, so much. Dab, I think you did it, I believe. Marshall's face gives me vibes. Look at this. Look, at, this is what Marshall looked like when I found him. He was unamused. Literally unamused. Look at that. Oops. Marshall was unamused when I took this photo. He was like, I was here the whole time. You could have just found me. But I was like, I've been trying to find you for a whole year. And you didn't show up. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. I was on vacation. Well, I don't want to tell you. He was just so like, he was really unamused. Unamused. Like, I guess we'll find you. Like, whatever. <laughs> he looked so annoyed. I'm like, after all this time, you try to find me now? Finally. Good. He's like, you finally found me. You left me on this island for a year. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why he's mad. He's just being stubborn. Stubborn. Mm -mm -mm. Tisk, tisk, tisk. He's like, I want to talk about, I want to talk to you about something real quick. You left me and then you found me. Okay. Anyway. What we're going to do is we are going to go show some, show some love, hype, and positivity over to a new streamer that we've rated before in the past, but a streamer that you probably haven't seen for a while. They've, they are a fan. They are a member of the Spring Squad. They are playing The Sims 3. They are playing The Sims 3, and they're called I'm So Psyched, and they're... Title says Sims 3, why not? Want to know why nurses like red crayons? What? I'm confused. I don't know. Um, but anyway, <laughs> thank you all for hanging out with me today. I really, really appreciate the company and the vibes and the energy you all created today was good. It's what I needed for Marshall. And so next time we find, still bring the same energy. But tomorrow I will be live or I'll be live tomorrow. At 10 a.m. Central Time, we're playing the not mm, we're playing the Mixed Match Legacy Challenge. We're on Gen 2, and we're going to be finishing Gen 2 tomorrow at 10 a.m. So, so you all know. But either way, besties, thank you all for being here, and I will see you all next time. Bye. Uh, peace. Oh, it works! Yay! It worked! It did. It worked! It did.